Okay, um, we're back. It's been a little bit, but I'm back. Um, so I'm going to cut right to the point here. Basically, I found a way to completely destroy Skyrim. And yeah, there's lots of ways. I like, for example, in my last stream, I believe it was the last one. It could have been the one before our last, uh, where I did the necromancy army and basically was the what i'm now calling the night king build because if you watch game of thrones it's basically what you're doing you're just reanimating the dead over and over again <laughs> to serve as your uh slave soldiers and that's one way to break skyrim um if you're interested go ahead and see uh on my youtube channel i should have it uh listed on there it's called the night king build um but yeah, so basically to do this um, build, uh, here's my character, by the way. Um, he's quite lovely. Uh, he's your typical proud empire soldier uh, type. And he's sick of all these Stormcloak meme rebellion uh, soldiers all over the place. He wants to be able to punch them one time and kill them. Or maybe use, I don't know, something stupid like a wooden sword. Or archery or all the above actually um, and how to do this really uh, so unfortunately I can't show you because it takes like over two hours and it's extremely boring but basically in the, in the tutorial zone when you're escaping Helgen in the tutorial that section where you see the bear sleeping if you just sneak into a rock for a couple hours and then just have it auto walk sneak and then you can auto walk sneak into a rock and you just leave it running for like a couple hours it'll uh, increase your sneak all the way to 100 um, so if you actually look here um, yeah we have like a lot of leveling up to do because of it I'm just gonna put it in magicka I guess might as well um, so if we look at her sneak, okay, I, it's actually, I did 62 because I was tired of waiting. So it might take like three hours, uh, a couple hours that we got to 62. Uh, so almost four hours actually. Uh, but if you're more patient than me, then you can do that. Uh, but this is enough actually, uh, 62 is enough. And then what you also want to do is get as many points as you can into alchemy. You want to get um, Alchemist 1, and then Alchemist 2, and then we're going to get 3, uh, but not yet. When we can, we will get it. Um, you also want to get Physician, which we're getting now, and then you also want to get a Benefactor which we cannot get yet but we will we need this it's extremely important we get this and this uh and then at least three i want to say before we can pull off this uh exploit that i'm going to show you today so um let's see we got the sneak isn't really good for this all it does is just let you level up and you can insert your perks where you need them um what else? What else? What else? Oh, enchanting. You also want to level up your enchanting. So here we're at an enchanting. Uh, we want to put this up as much as possible uh, before we start this exploit. I just started this game recently, uh, but you can tell I can level up a lot because of all that sneaking I did in the beginning. So that was awesome. Um, there's also other ways to do it too. I know there's a something you can do with the traders to improve your speech. You can like sell them their own stuff or whatever. And, uh, there's people on YouTube that sh have shown that. Uh, unfortunately that only, I think you can only do that on PC. I'm on console, but this works too. I can just, um, I was able to just use the sneak to level up. Um, so yeah, you want to level up your enchanting. Uh, you also want, um, if you're going to do a fire enchantment on a weapon, you want to do this one. Otherwise, um, okay, actually you also want, you want this and you want this. Uh, insightful enchanter, skill enchantments on armor are 25% stronger. 
And then you also want this bad boy here as well. And that's all you need really. You just need those two and then you want to put this up. You're not going to be able to put this one up until you start the exploit. In which case, by the way, doing this exploit like just skyrockets your enchantment to 100. Uh, just a little a spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So what you need to do in order to pull this off, and I've already gathered everything because it takes like a huge amount of time. And I actually already did everything and tested it out. I'm just going back on an older save because I want to show all of you how to do this. Um, so that's just our regular potions. What you want to do is you want to go to Riften and uh, get as much Absian Longfins as you can. Um, you can also buy this, buy these from just uh, resetting the inventory for Arcadia and Arcadia's Cauldron in, in Whiterun. I've seen, I found out that she's kind of like the best at that. Uh, all the other vendors kind of suck when it comes to fish. Um, at least to my knowledge. I haven't been to every city in the game yet, but anyway, you might know better. So you want to love Apsi and Logfins as much as possible. Uh, blue Butterfly fly Wings. Cerradelic Spade Tails, Hag Hagraven Claws if you can, or if you can't get Hagraven Claws, you can also get Blue Butterfly Wings. Uh, you need the, the Butterfly Wings, the blue ones only, the Claws, and you need either Snowberries or Spriggan Snap. Snap? Spriggan Snap? I can't even speak. Um, you need any combination of those to make your enchanting uh, potions and then the fishes plus any salt so we're just going to use a salt for each fish because we have a lot of salt um, to make your 405 restoration potions and we have a lot I think we actually have uh, more than enough uh, I have about I went uh, around and just kind of gathered all of these um, actually, that's a lie. Uh, I didn't get, go around. As a matter of fact, all I did really was, you can actually reset the uh, inventory of vendors in this game, and I will demonstrate. So, um, just wait till I get there, I guess. <laughs> just kind of an awkward silence right now because I want to show you something. Uh, here we go. No, 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 no. Okay, let's not break in. Let's just wait till they're open. So, you want to gather all of those um, ingredients, as I have uh, listed there. Okay, looks like she's open now. Let's back away and go back in. Oh, for feck's sake. Really? Five, like... Okay, one, maybe one more hour. Okay, sometimes you have to refresh it. Really? You're gonna open at 8, aren't you? It's literally one minute. <sighs> you piece of shit. Okay. So, in order to gather all of these ingredients so quickly and so fast. Makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. Just yeah. step up to the. No, I don't have anything for. So you're interested. She's gonna talk about bad dreams because that's like a Dawn Star quest you have to do. Everybody's having bad dreams here for some reason. Uh, okay, so we look at Frida's inventory, and she has... We're looking for Spriggan Sap. So she has that, so that's nice. I'll go ahead and buy some. You'll notice I also have a lot of gold, which I'll explain how I got that much gold so quickly. But in the meantime, I'm going to demonstrate this. Um... Now, she doesn't have any fishes. She doesn't have any... She does have salt, I think. Okay, no, she doesn't have the salt we need. She just has void salts. We You need regular salt. Um, she doesn't have anything else we need. So what you do... Let me know if you... Is you want to throw out a quick save. Down with the and then you just want to... Punch her. And then load the quick save. And it's as simple as that.
So now, the reason why this works is because basically you have her go hostile for a minute and it resets her inventory. For some reason, that's how the game is designed. So now you'll notice that uh, she has a fish now and snowberries. She didn't have those before. Now we have snowberries. Perfect. Now, she's kind of like the worst vendor that, to show this about, though, because she doesn't have like what we need at all. The best vendor for this is going to be um, the vendor in Whiterun, Arcadia's Cauldron. Uh, but while I'm in Dawnstar, I want to show you something else, too, that's extremely critical for my really quick success here. Uh, you want to also get the items from the trading Khajiits that do happen upon this road, like every three or four days, I think. It could be every two days, I don't remember. Um, but what you'll notice is that in Dawnstar, uh... You can also just get their stuff for free, mostly. At least the things that matter most. Um, so you just go to this little spot here. And uh, let's actually go in first person. here. So we just go in the spot here, and then you just duck. And then you see, oh look, search chest. Wait a minute. There's no chest here. Oh, no, there is a chest. Uh, this chest happens to be the inventory of the uh, trading Khajiits that do visit Dawnstar. Uh, and they have a whole bunch of great loot that you can just uh, take for free from here. Um, they have, you want what you wanna do is you wanna grab everything that has some kind of enchantment on it. Uh, so for example, we can take, I'm actually not gonna take anything cause my carry, carry weight is uh, all, um, is almost full. Plus, I already did this anyway, but basically, you want to carry everything that has some kind of enchantment. It doesn't matter what it is. So you want one with frost, you want one with soul snares, you want one with alteration, uh, you want one with sapping. You just want as many as possible. And the reason is, is that you want to disenchant those to increase your enchantment stats, uh, which we can demonstrate um, in a little bit. Um, and here also you can get your uh, grand soul gems uh, for free, basically. Uh, she might not have any. She has a grand, greater soul gem. But sometimes she has like two or three uh, grand soul gems that ha have a soul in them already. So you can just basically get as many soul gems as you need from here. Um, basically half of everything you need is here. Uh, all you need to be able to go, all the only places you need to go to for this exploit is basically Dawnstar and Whiterun. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, and Riften, I guess. Hey, Riften helps. They have a lot of salt there, but that's about it. Uh, they have fish, some fish there too. So, Whiterun, Dawnstar, Riften. Uh, basically, your three places you're going to be visiting um, in, your, in this exploit. So... Uh, we could also, she doesn't have like the ingredients we need for our potions, but she basically, she's going to supply here all the weapons and all of the, uh, armor pieces that we want to disenchant. And you also want to look for anything that is great for alchemy that, um, really helps with your alchemy. So for example, um... I actually found this from her inventory. Um, so I found these uh, I found these uh, gauntlets of major alchemy, which uh, creative potions are 17% more powerful. Those are pretty jazzy and very, very helpful for this exploit. Um, I also got a... Okay, these are minor alchemy. I'm going to disenchant the small one, which is just these that are only 12%. Um, and then I also got this helmet of, of alchemy, which is 15% more powerful. So what you want to do is you're going to want to wear that and those gauntlets. And I think that was it. I don't know if we had a ring. Um, I don't remember. I don't think we did. So we just have those two. Um, and that should be enough. Uh, it obviously actually was enough because I already did, did this, kind of. Um, but anyway, 
Um, sometimes you can find rings and necklaces that have the same uh, same thing. So here you see we also have like different stuff. Here's this one is for smithing. Uh, I have all these that are kind of left over because I was just grabbing as many items as I can. Um, so anyway, there you go. So that's how you get stuff out of this chest. That's how you get what you need. Now, the problem is, is that this chest doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. It's limited. So what you do is, uh, you, you remembered how we resetted the inventory of, um, Fr Frida and her shop, right? We just kind of punched her and quick saved. Well, it turns out you can do the same thing with this Khajiit trader over here. And when you do that, and then you check her inventory, it actually updates that chest. And you can get all the stuff. You can see what she has in her inventory. And basically, um, see if you, she has anything you like. If not, you just keep quick saving and punching. And that's basically it. And I'm going to kind of demonstrate this really quick. Um... I can. Uh, it looks like we might have to wait a while, which kind of sucks, but hey. You generally have to only wait like at most 48 hours um, until they just pop up here suddenly. So they're going to be like right here in this like dark spot right here. So let's just keep waiting because they're not here yet. We'll wait until the morning. Uh, they should probably be here in the morning. And they don't show up immediately. Sometimes they just kind of pop out, pop into existence suddenly. Especially when you're doing the waiting animation. Okay, they're still not here, so let's keep waiting. Maybe three more hours later morning. Give it a little bit of time to load. Okay. Mm. Maybe in the afternoon. No. So I'm going to uh, bet that's probably going to be tomorrow. So let's go ahead and go for tomorrow. Uh, probably like four, 16 hours. Sure. Okay, and they're still not here, so let's go ahead and it could be, um, oh, it's still really early in the morning, so let's wait a little bit longer. Oh, there they are. Perfect. So this is Aki Akari here. In this exploit, you're, you would see her a lot. Uh, what you can do... So what her her inventory here is going to be the same as that chest we just looked at. Um, actually, she, uh, a lot of stuff kind of don't show up in the chest, or some stuff don't show up in, in the chest, like these steel boots of resist fire. So I'm guessing what happened is that it actually already updated. So let's see if she has anything we need. She doesn't have anything that can help, really. No rings that are good for alchemy. Uh, so... Let's see, any potions? Um, no. So, what we can do is just drop down a quick save. And then you quickly load. Perfect. So, we just punched her in the face, and now we're just reloading. And you'll notice. Hey, where are you, where are you going? Come back. Please come and browse. So now you'll notice after we punched her, suddenly she has quite different uh, items in her inventory suddenly. Um, also, if you're selling stuff to a merchant and you have extra stuff to sell and they're out of money, this also resets their gold. So you can just keep punching them, uh, quick saving, punching, quick saving, punching. And that's basically it, really. Um, you can get some... 
Now it's very important too for this exploit. Uh, you want to also get those ingredients I was talking about. Um, okay, these are what she has. She has some salt. That's kind of nice. Um, you can also... Um, shit, what was I talking about? Hang on. Where was it? You can also get grand soul gems from her as well, which will be available in that chest. Um, but basically, you want to find as many items as you can um, that have alchemy so that you can disenchant them, basically. Well, at least basically anything that's enchanted. So as many enchanted items as possible. Um, so that includes weapons as well, for example. Here's this nice one with Battle Axe of Embers. That means you can get the Burning Enchantment. Then here you can get the uh, Shock Enchantment. So it's really nice. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was trying to say earlier. You also need a lot of rings and necklaces. Well, not really a lot. Just like a few of them. And you can buy these rings. Uh, they're expensive a little bit, but you can buy them. You can't get them from her chest, uh, unfortunately, because... They just don't show up there. But because we punched her in the face and we quick saved before we did that and then we just quickly reloaded it, you'll notice that this chest that's hidden in the rock over here, the uh, items have been reset. So let, let me demonstrate as I uh, run by here. So here we're just going to go here. And there you go, search chest. Oh, look at that. All the stuff we were looking at are here pretty much, except for those rings for some reason. Uh, rings do not count, I guess. But what you can do is this is how you get a lot of gold because you actually need a lot of gold for this exploit. Uh, what you can do, what I've literally done to get gold is literally just stolen everything from this chest and sold it to vendors basically. Um, and if a vendor runs out of money, you just punch them, quick save, punch them, and then reset their 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 money. Uh, we actually we actually take her gold right here. Um, and look, oh, she has three grand soul gems that are filled. Yeah, I'll take those bad boys uh, for sure. You need those for enchanting. Uh, lock picks, why not? Um, I don't need anything else though, because I already gathered everything I need. But I just wanted to show you. So. Um, yeah, that's how you get a lot of gold in the in the early game. You just take a lot and anything you can really, and just sell it as mi as much as possible. Now, another thing is if you don't have the money or you don't want to spend a lot of money for silver rings and whatnot, you can just get some silver ingots and smithy up some necklaces and rings. That's another way to do it. That's actually what I did uh, because you'll need you will need at least a few of them, at least a couple of each um depending on your your alchemy stats you might need a lot more so it's just best to have like a, a few on supply so anyway that's how we got our infinite money basically and you need money because you need to pay um arcadia for uh training you for alchemy um you also need it to just buy everything you need Basically, so we're gonna go back to White Run. <sighs> and we're just gonna look at this nice little sword here because why not? Okay, I'm also married to Isolde, and she actually generates gold for you too as well. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit Caravan, okay, I'm actually not married to her. I thought I was. Uh, that's another thing you do. You can just get the Amulet of Mara and marry her. She'll also get you gold. That's another way to gather lots of gold. Um, also, it's actually really hard to find ingots. Uh, what you can do to get a lot of ingots to make jewelry is basically the same tactic. You just do the quick save and punch with a merchant. And this guy has at least some iron ore, or war, silver ore. We've got 
small the finest weapons and armor so if you go to miscellaneous and he has some silver ore which is nice so we're gonna take some and then if you need more doing business with you. which you will need more so all you need to do is quick save And then load. He just has a shocked face. He didn't really say anything, really. <laughs> but yeah, it's really weird for some reason. Like when they get hostile, it just resets their inventory. Most of our Take a look. And he forgot about that branching timeline where we punched him in the face. So that's really nice of him uh, to just kind of forgive and forget. Look, he has three more silver ore. So we don't actually need any more, but I just wanted to show you that that's what you can do. Uh, and then if you don't know how to do smelting and smithing in Skyrim, then um, it's really easy. You just go up to it and kind of do it. Um, I guess I can show you that really quick in case you're new to Skyrim. Uh, but yeah, so basically you need your ingredients. You need some jewelry, some rings and necklaces. You need to... Uh, now the long, the hardest part really is just get find resetting the um, Khajiits over and over again um, to get these major alchemy gauntlets. Like I probably spent a good thirty minutes straight just punch quick saving and punching that cat in the face before I finally had a pot this populate in her inventory. And when I saw this, I was so happy. Now, if you can find gauntlets, if you can find gauntlets and you can find a helmet like this one, that's also alchemy and wear a necklace and a ring, that would be even better. But um, for now, this will do because those are those are pretty high stats. Um, and it's fine. Like this is this, should, this is more than enough to get us started because I already did this technically. Um, but that's the ideal setup. So you just want to get as much alchemy. Um, as because she can train you in, in alchemy and when you have a lot of gold, it's no big deal. You can just pay her to train. So, let's go ahead. What have you got for sale? She also has the ingredients you need, usually. Uh, not always, but usually. Um, like, about 80% of the time that I reset her, she has what I need. Um, so, yeah, you can have her for that. And she can also teach you alchemy, which is what we're going to do. Okay, now we can't uh, train anymore because we need to gain another level. But every level we can get five points in alchemy uh, with her. So next time we level up, we're going to come back here and get alchemy uh, 30, which is kind of what we need to do this exploit, I think. Um, otherwise, your loop is just going to kind of uh, stagnate and not really progress. Uh, And you need all those ingredients, including the fish, the snowberries, the blue butterfly wings. Um, I actually haven't even done the main quest yet. I haven't even talked to the Jarl yet, because uh, I don't want to. I want to be able to one-hit the dragon on this stream, so that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, but So don't go near him, He's always, he'll talk to me and do the quest. Okay. I listen to this guy talk a lot and he's really fucking annoying and it's okay though we're gonna tolerate him because we're tolerant people so we're gonna go ahead and put on our not the now i got regular 
alchemy ones. Actually, you know what? Let's drop those because I don't want to use those. Those are weaker. Um, let's see. Actually, did we enchant? Let's see if there's anything left to disenchant. Okay, yeah, I didn't even do this yet. That's thank God I I saw this. So this is where you can upgrade your uh, enchantment abilities. Uh, notice I gathered all of these different effects affected uh, equipment to help with my enchanting. Just be careful for this uh, alchemy loop. So bow of dismay, sure. Uh, we don't really need it. We're just going to do this just to level up, basically. So let's go ahead and... Now you notice every time we do this, our enchantment bar increases. Now I suggest you like quick save often when, while you do this and make actually regular saves are really good to do in case this process goes awry because it really sucks to have to start over and regather everything. So definitely put save a lot when you do this. Um, but yeah, Axe of Sparks, we can get that. So you just kind of disenchant as many items as possible. And our chanting is increasing, that's perfect. There we go, it increased again. And we leveled up, that's perfect. And then... We're getting the bonuses we want to use too, the enchantments we want too, so it's awesome. Um, sure grip, that means two-handed attacks do more damage. That's definitely something we want to learn. Hide, hide, braces, hide bracers of wielding, that's one-handed attacks do more damage. Let's get that bad boy. And we're just, yeah, our, our enchanting is just going up and up and up. It's awesome. Now, these are the Iron Gauntlets of Alchemy. These are the ones we don't need. Ferengar, please shut up. I'm trying to speak here. Anyway, uh, so because we don't... Um, we definitely need to learn this ability, and we don't need these gauntlets because we have a more powerful one. We can't wear two gauntlets. I mean, technically you can. There is a, there is a way to do it, but it's... It's not going to work with this loop, so let's just go ahead and just enchant that one. So now we keep we kept the po more powerful pair, yeah, seventeen percent more, so that's good. And then we'll get rid of this as well. Uh, novice robes, sure. And yeah, our encha our enchanting is just going crazy just doing this. And then steel boots of stamina. Increases your stamina. Oh, that would be something lovely to have. So let's get that as well. Perfect, perfect. Uh, steel boots of waning fire. Okay, fire resistance. That sounds nice. We don't really need all of these. It's just for upgrading our um, leveling up, basically. Minor smithing. This is perfect. This is actually something I want to use. Okay, and there's our steel helmet of alchemy. We can't use. We don't want to use and we can't use anyway. Uh, Major squire bonus that's for light armor so that sounds pretty sweet let's get that and then we have our vagrant robes of conjuring perfect so now we have all the upgrades i think we need in order to start this process um so let's go back and let's get training with arcadia um let's actually level up first let's just do magicka because we really don't need more health or stamina, and you'll see why. Um, so enchanting, we're at we're at almost forty. Um, it's okay; we don't need to have it at forty yet. Um, all we really need is the insightful enchanter, which means skill enchantments are more powerful on armor. Uh, okay, it requires fifty, so I guess we don't really need it. Um, <laughs> But as long as you have two here, it should be enough to get you started. Um, as you level, you'll level up during this process to where you can uh, upgrade that. It happens quite quickly and suddenly, actually. Uh, so alchemy, though, you want to upgrade this as much as possible. And now we can't upgrade it here yet because we're still at 25 alchemy. 
But it's okay, because we upgraded, we leveled up, we can just go to Arcadia. And we can just literally pay her to upgrade our alchemy for us. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm great. So, uh... All right, so we're just gonna go in here. We're literally just gonna pay to win. This is the cost of immortality, my dear friends. This is the cost of immortality. So now she's gonna get us up to 30. Perfect. So that's exactly what we needed. So now if we go to our skills, we go to alchemy. Now we have enough to pick up benefactor, which is very crucial. It me it adds a 20 extra 25% magnitude to our potion effects. Uh we don't need poisoner, we just need benefactor. Uh we have physician already, so that's great. Uh, physician does basically the same thing that we need. Um so yeah, and then this is going to just go through the roof. Alchemy 30, that's all you really need to really do this. And you'll you'll see why uh, demonstrated shortly as I go back up to Dragon's Reach one, one last time. This is our last trip to Dragon's Reach. We're just going to run on over here. Your very lives? I love his voice when he says that part. Okay. So we're just going to run back. We have great stamina because I'm using light armor. And honestly, this light armor I'm wearing is about to be the best armor in the universe. And you'll see why shortly. Okay. So now we're here. Let's drop a save before we do anything else. Um, not a quick save. You want to do a regular save. You want to do a primary save here right now before you do the whole thing and then you quick save as you go along just in case something happens during the process so we're going to do a new save here okay now we're fully saved. seeing myself here um yeah we did so now what we want to do is we want to, this is the literal first season of the loop here. Um, so let's just kind of, uh, we can leave those on. So we want our Iron Gauntlets of Major Alchemy equipped. And then we have, what was the other one? Steel Helmet. So you just want to wear this bad boy. Now I recommend you do this in third person so that you remember to put on your equipment again. So now we're going to use the alchemy lab and it's thinking that I never used it before for some reason. And then now we want to do fortify restoration so any one of the fishes we have either cyrodelic spade tail or abstain long fins will work. So you do one of those fishes and one of the salts and then you hit X on the Xbox to craft. Okay, now because we're wearing those bonuses, um, it says restoration spells are 43% stronger for 60 seconds. Now the timer doesn't start until we leave this menu, luckily. Uh, so I'm going to quickly get off this menu. And it doesn't actually start until we um, chug it, so. But time is paused when you're, when you're in your menu here. And it's also paused when you're doing alchemy animation. So, um, I believe so at least. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we want to take off our alchemy apparel. So let's take that off. We want to, let's check, let's do this cure disease because I have some kind of disease apparently. Okay. That's just because I was actually sick. Now we're going to do the fortify restoration. Chug that. 
And then we're going to go to back to our Aperol. Now you'll notice our Iron Gauntlets are now doing 24% more powerful. Hmm. This is, uh, this is nice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to... Uh, and now our Steel Helmet's at 21%. That's nice. So we're going to go ahead and wear that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and quickly use the Alchemy Lab. We're going to make another... Fortify Restoration Potion. Now it's 67% stronger for 60 seconds. Before it was 43%. Now it's jumping all the way to 67. So that's a good uh, jump there. So now we're going to quit the alchemy. We're going to go back to our items. We're going to remove our equipment. And then we're going to chug this potion. 67%. And we go back to our apparel. Now it's 28% more powerful for the gauntlets, and our steel helmet is 25. Before it was 21%, now it's 25. So it's, it is going up, and we're going to go up back here, and we're going to do it again. Now it's 81% stronger for 60 seconds. Okay, we're going to go ahead and craft that, and then now we're going to quit immediately. Go immediately to our menu. You want to do this as fast as possible uh, because just in case there is a time limit issue. If you do wait too long, it will wear off. You want the potions to kind of double stack a little bit while you're doing this. So now it's 81% stronger for 60 seconds. That's because the previous potion is still active that we took. I think that's what's actually happening. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and chug that bad boy. And then we're going to go immediately to our items. And we're going to re-equip them. Now they're 30% stronger for the gauntlets. And um, our helmet's almost 30%. So that's perfect. So now we're going to wear those bad boys. We're going to go use the alchemy lab immediately. We're going to quickly make another one. 92% stronger. That is nice. We'll go ahead and take that. Now, if you're not high enough level in alchemy, and sometimes it's a glitch too, uh, sometimes you'll get stuck at... Uh, 95 which really sucks it won't go past 95 no matter what you do um, but if you're just high enough for alchemy it will um, it will continue past that it's very slow starting but once it goes it really does go so we're gonna take off the apparel we're gonna chug the 92% potion immediately back to our apparel now it's a little bit more it's 32% and the helmet is kind of the same, it's 28%. You notice it's starting to slow down. There's like some sort of curve we're hitting. Um, okay, now it's 100%. Uh, we've passed the 95% mark, so that's a good sign. When you hit 100%, that's usually a good sign. Um, especially if you go past 100, that means you're good, basically. So we're gonna go ahead and craft this bad boy. We're gonna go ahead and immediately go to our apparel we're gonna remove it and then we're gonna go chug this potion 100% stronger we're gonna go immediately back to our apparel okay now it's it's still going up it's 34% but well, it was 32 before now it's good now it's 34 we've got our helmet that's now at 30% instead of 28% we're gonna wear that bad boy immediately start crafting our next potion so we're gonna go ahead and do this one 106 seconds. Okay, I think we're actually good. Okay, now we want to quit alchemy. Now, if this wasn't good enough, what you can do is basically um, cash out, so to speak. Or basically, you would just make a fortify enchantment potion at this point, and then just craft like a ring or a necklace that's good for alchemy. But it looks like we don't need to do that because our equipment's strong enough and our alchemy level is high enough. But if you do have uh, lower levels, it is possible to get around uh, getting stuck, basically. Um, so anyway, let's go back to our apparel. Let's take it off again. And Ferengar doesn't mind at all while we do this. He's totally fine with us doing, doing this. Uh, it's pretty nice that way. Although he is a bit annoying that he keeps talking a lot. And um, I'm going to keep quiet for a little bit because I'm tired of talking a lot myself. So... Go ahead and do this, this, 109%. It's really slow now. It's 106 before. Now it's... Okay, now it's 111 because I just leveled up. So we're going to go ahead and quit that. 
Now that level up was probably very crucial for our success here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drink the Fortify Restoration. And then we're going to go to here. And then we're going to wear this. Okay, now it's stuck at 106 it looks like. So we want to make another one of these. And then we also want to make a um, fortify enchantment. So for that, we just need either snowberries. We have a lot of snowberries, so it's going to be snowberries and spring and sap, snowberries and hag raven claws, or snowberries and blue butterfly wings in our case. So we're going to go ahead and just do the spring and sap, sap because it's close to the, um, it's close to them. I'm just going to go ahead and hit craft. Now we just made a fortify enchanting potion. It only makes items 13% stronger and that is perfectly fine though. That's all we really need. And then let's actually make another one of these. All right. And then we're going to quit the alchemy. We're going to do a quick save and then we're going to, okay. I forgot that I won't let you quick save when you're still in animation. So now we go to our enchanting table here. Now what we want to do is we want to chug one of our um, enchantment potions, enchanting potions. There I made two of them just uh, to be safe. I actually have a ring and a necklace I want to enchant, so I'm going to go ahead and drink one of these bad boys. Immediately use the enchanter. You want to be quick here. So we're going to go ahead and get a silver necklace. We're going to do fortify alchemy, and then we're going to do a grand soul gem so it's gonna make potions 11 percent more powerful okay and then we want to we'll let it do it if we have enough time we'll do that again with a silver ring fortify alchemy grand soul gem perfect so now on top of our uh hey Ferengar, no Ferengar, you piece of shit don't use it right now okay so basically what you want to do now um, is you want to take off your equipment. So now, now you'll notice that's back down to 15% more powerful, all of our equipment. And that's fine. Uh, it's This is basically what I call season two of the loop. And it's basically this season two is where you actually get to your goal, usually, depending on your basic levels. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to take off my equipment that I have. And then I'm just going to remember that I also have a ring and a necklace I need to put on. Uh, so we're going to take off all of our equipment. Let's kick Ferengar off of here first. Now we just have to tap this. What do you need? Okay. Now we just want to go ahead and quickly chug our potion. Our potion of fortify restoration we had made two of these if you remember uh before while we made the enchanting potions um well actually no we made one of these and then two enchanting potions uh last time it's very important that you do that so you don't have to start completely over again but anyway you just want to chug this bad boy and you want to put these gauntlets on you also want to put on our silver necklace now created potions are 16 percent more powerful and this ring is also 16 percent thanks to that potion and your helmet of minor of alchemy so we're going to wear that as well then we're going to go ahead what do you need? oh no no okay we're going to go ahead and do fortify restoration okay already 90 percent we're going to craft We're going to go ahead and quickly take everything off. And then we're going to drink that potion. Now it's 90%, so we're going to chug it. Go immediately back to our gauntlets. 32% already. It's more powerful than ever, than ever was suddenly. Um, almost. And we're going to wear our silver necklace, which is 20%. Our silver ring, which is 20%. And our helmet again. And then we're going to quickly go back and we're going to quickly make 
Another restoration potion. 125%. Okay, we're we're on the snowball now. We're getting there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting there. Uh, so now we're going to take all this off. Okay. We're going to chug this potion. And then we're going to put everything back on. Okay, you'll notice that they're now 24% each, which is a lot more than before. And then this one's 33% more. It's perfect. So we're going to go ahead and do Fortify Restoration again. 162% stronger. Okay, we're definitely snowballing here. So at this point, I want to do a quick save because I am nervous about this process. Uh, let's take everything off. And then we're going to do it again. Immediately put it back on. 44% more powerful. Okay, we're getting a little bit crazy here. Um, you you know, you're starting to see the, the picture of what's happening. 39%. Okay, restoration. 204%. 204%. That's amazing. Okay. It's about to get a lot more amazing. D -d 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 -d. So we're going to drink that bad boy again and put this on again. 51% more powerful. Um, necklace, 33. These were like 11% base, but now they're suddenly 33. And then we want to just put this on again. 262%. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um... So we're going to check that, and then suddenly 61% more powerful. Uh, we're going to do the necklace. The necklaces and the rings are almost 40% uh, already. Uh, the helmet's over 50%. That's just, that's, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Todd, this is a great game. I love this game. 347%. Okay, yep. And we're going to go ahead and take it off again. Do, 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 do. Sorry, my controller is really noisy because I'm using the, the arrow keys because it's safer, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to put this on 76% more powerful. That's just, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Um, my brain. Brain. Okay. Uh, we didn't forget anything, did we? Okay, we did everything. That's good. Quickly, 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 quickly. Almost 500% now. So you have to do this pretty quick or else uh, your time limit will run out. Now it's it's paused when you're in your menu. It's probably not paused when you're doing alchemy, so you gotta hurry up with the alchemy process. So yeah, here we go, I'm just gonna chug that. And then 101% more powerful. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine, that's, that's fine, okay. Um, that's perfectly fine. 89% more powerful. Yeah, that's okay. Um, that's that's normal. That's perfectly normal. And we're going to go ahead. 817. 817% more powerful. Now you can see our alchemy is increasing as we do this. Uh, because the game is like, whoa, that's a lot of alchemy you're doing. So it's just going a little bit bonkers at the moment. Um, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we don't really need this other fortifying chanting. Uh, I could just kind of drop that bad boy and then this one I would like to drink don't drop drink okay there we go and then we're gonna do 155% more powerful okay yeah all right and wabushk quickly use the alchemy lab so we want to do the ingredients because we're out of the Epstein Longfin, so we want to do the Cyrodiilk Spade Tail and a Salt Pile. And we just made a Fortify Restoration that is... what was that? Hang, hang on. 
1,780% stronger for 60 seconds. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna just chug that one. Um... Oh shit, I didn't take off my apparel. Okay, it's fine, it didn't matter. Let's go ahead and just do this real quick. 3,000. Over 3,000% stronger. Oh my gosh, okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's do a quick save. Okay, we did a quick save. Now we're safe. Whew. Let me take a breath. Okay, there we go. So we're going to take off these bad boys. I guess you don't really have to do this, but it does help uh, sometimes. So it's better just to do it every time and not forget like I did before. Okay, so this one is uh, over almost 4,000%. Uh, we're just going to chug that bad boy. Uh, just the normal numbers that you see every day, obviously. Uh, necklaces and rings are a little bit crazy. And the... Yeah, I think you get the... I think you're getting the picture, honestly. Okay, we just leveled up from that. What we could do is level up our alchemy. Okay, let's go ahead to alchemy. We'll actually, no, enchanting. We only need one more in enchanting, right? Yeah, we're so let's go to enchanting. And then, oh wait, we're at 39 enchanting. Okay, well, we can't really do anything yet, can we? No, we can't. Okay, let's just go ahead, uh, take off our items again. It's a good thing I saved because I might have beans did a little bit, um, but that's, that's fine. Um, we're still going to be very OP, nonetheless. It's okay if you mess up a little bit at this point, because really you don't get that far behind if you mess up a little bit. Um, because we're at the snowball alley is, is what I wanted to call it. Yeah, like 280% more powerful. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yep, this is perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to put those on. We're going to make another fortify restoration. And then... It Six over seven thousand percent. Okay, that's mm hmm. Just uh, not gonna, not gonna even say anything at this point. Oh Jesus. Okay. So now you, <laughs> this is the major snowball shift where you start hitting the one thousands uh, percentages. Now imagine how much this is multiplying because you have this at one thousand, you have this at seven hundred. You have this at 700, you have this at 1,000 as well. So all of those multiplying, that's why this is very important to have the equipment for alchemy because it really helps with the snowballing process. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it's actually impossible to get this started without these alchemy items uh, equipped. So we're gonna go ahead and wear those and then we're gonna go ahead and make our next restoration potion. 92,000%. Okay, this is getting a little silly. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... Now we want to be careful, uh, because if we go too far, we can actually crash the game. And I really don't want that to happen. And I have streaming on my Xbox, so I really don't know what will happen when I'm streaming and it crashes. Um, so let's play it a little bit safer. Um, 91,000... Uh, percent. This might be where we want to uh, cash out, so to speak. So, but let's go ahead and just drink this. Oh, uh, we're gonna go one more time. We're gonna do one more restoration, and I think we should be fine after that. So, let's go ahead and we're gonna make some enchantment potions also now, just to be safe in case um, the other one's too powerful. So, we're gonna go ahead. We're going to make a fortify restoration and a couple uh, ones for alchemy now. So I'm going to go ahead and chug it. I put on my apparel. 16,000%. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, necklaces are over 10,000%. That's, yeah, so is the rink. And... Um, these 
this helmet that we were using. This might break the this might crash the game. I'm gonna warn you. So let's go ahead and try. Oh, what is that? Okay. Yep. Now let's just two two enchanting ones. Okay, there we go. So now we just did one for... Um... Now you notice that I actually got a lot weaker suddenly. Um, because we have... Fortify Enchanting, it's now going to make something... 4,670% uh, stronger. It was going to be a lot more, but it just kind of expired on me. But it's fine. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what happens if I can just... Instead of wearing all this equipment, let's see if we can just make one ring that can give me this much uh, buff for um, uh, for alchemy. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So item, let's just get a ring and we do fortify alchemy. Okay, no, let's, we didn't chug our potion first. So Chug our potion, so fortify enchanting. And then we're gonna go ahead and directly use the arcane enchanter item. We gotta do this quickly, we only have 30 seconds. Uh, fortify alchemy, soul gem. So it's gonna make everything a lot more powerful. So yes, let's enchant that ring. Now that our, got our alchemy to um, uh, level 40. We're gonna just go ahead and do Magicka. Okay, we, we leveled up a lot when we made that, uh, Alchemy Potion. Um, our enchanting stats are kind of through the roof right now. Okay, good. So now we just, uh, upgraded it. So, quickly, while this is still in effect, let's do another, uh, enchantment real quick. Item, let's do a necklace, and then we're gonna do Fortify Alchemy, Soul Gem. Okay, there we go. So now, what I just did is made it redundant to get any more Alchemy Potions, because now all I need to do is um, take off this equipment. Yeah, notice now it's down to its original 15% for the helmet. Um, the silver ring and the necklace are also 11% again because the uh, Fortify Restoration Potion wore off. Uh, these are down to 17% as well. But you'll notice that that silver necklace I made, uh, created potions are 8,000% more powerful. So yeah, all we need is uh, to put on one of these bad boys. And then we also have a silver ring that does another 7,000%. Now, I really don't know if I want to combine these two. Let's see what happens um, when I make a Fortify Enchanted Potion with just the necklace. I want to do a quick save in case it crashes my game. That has happened a couple times before, so it's a little bit scary for me. But now we're not using any potion now. We're just not using any equipment but that, um, that necklace, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and do this for Fortify Enchantment. Okay, enchant items are 800% stronger. That's kind of lame. So I'm going to quit the alchemy. I'm going to go to my items. I'm going to wear the silver necklace as I am. And I'm also going to wear the silver ring. Now let's see what happens when we do that. Fortify enchanting. Okay, so it's, it's a, a little bit almost doubled. So we're going to go ahead and... Let's actually go ahead and do that. Now we're going to actually use this enchantment potion to make another ring. I'm going to make this ring even more powerful than the last one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick save in case this goes awry. And then we're going to quickly chug uh, that alchemy potion I just made that I'm sorry the enchanting potion I just made 
You'll notice, by the way, I still have this Fortify Restoration Potion I can use later if I have to. I don't think we need it again, though. I think we're good now. But let's go ahead and just chug this. Quickly use the Enchanter, because we only have 30 seconds for this one. Let's make another ring this time. And we're going to do the Enchantment of Fortify Alchemy. Soul Gem. Okay, it's actually kind of pathetic, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and quit this enchanting. We're going to actually wear the um, other stuff too, just to kind of help out. Actually, you know what? Let's just chuck the potion as well. So, this is I'm kind of at a crossroads here because this is the point where you like you have to think about crashing your game while you're streaming versus how much more powerful you want to be. Honestly, we could rule the world with what we have now, but I like to go a little bit further than that because I like uh, cheese balling and and such so we're gonna go to our potions oh okay we're gonna do this fortify restoration potion actually you know what let's take off the apparel first so silver ring we're gonna take you off so all of our apparels off first then we chug the potion now we're gonna put it back on uh that ring <laughs> Okay, what is that? Is that that's over a million? Okay, that's nice. Uh, we're gonna wear this, uh, put this on, and then we're gonna do. Oh my God, what is that? That's over a million as well. Okay, so we're gonna wear that as well, and I think that's all we need to wear really. So we're gonna wear those two items that we just made, with the fortify, uh, alchemy potion or fortify restoration i'm sorry i get those mixed up um and then we're gonna go and craft ourselves a couple enchantment potions and a another fortify restoration potion so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna quickly uh back on out of here use the lab okay we're gonna make a couple Okay, and then you want to quickly make another Fortify Restoration. I made a couple of them just to be safe. Um, okay, there we go. Now we're good. So now we're going to use um, those... Now we're going to use those uh, alchemy... I'm sorry, enchanting potions. Let's just use uh, this one. It's a little bit more stronger. It says over 2 million percent more stronger. We're gonna just chug that bad boy. And then we're gonna make ourselves a ring. Um, so we're gonna make ourselves another ring. And then we're gonna do, this is why you need a lot of uh, jewelry for this, by the way. Okay, I didn't even have time to look at that because I was nervous trying to get that done. Okay, so basically, I think that's we're at a point now where all we need is that ring and we're good. Right? Okay, that what is that? That is 23 million percent more powerful. Okay, yeah, that's fine. This one... No, 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 wait a minute. Okay, that one's 1 million. This one's 23 million. Okay, so... What we're going to do, so we don't get confused with all these silver rings and jewelry. So I'm going to step over here into Ferengar's study. And I'm going to drop off everything that I don't need anymore. So we're going to get, we're going to keep this necklace because it's pretty jazzy still. I'm going to drop this ring, which is kind of pointless at this point. Definitely not that one. That's the one we want. Uh, that one's pretty jazzy too, but honestly, I don't want to... You know what, let's actually keep that one in case this one's too powerful and crashes the game. And then these other rings we can keep because they're kind of together. Uh, this necklace, however, we don't need. So let's drop that. Our Ferengar can have those, that's fine. Um, but I believe we're wearing them now, yes? No, we're not. Okay, let's put this on. Um, not that one, this one, here we go. So now we're gonna make an enchantment potion that's just a little bit crazy. I'm going to do a quick save because this might crash my game. I really don't know if it will, but I feel like it will. 
Um, let's do a fortify enchanting. Um, we're gonna have to do new ingredients for that. So let's do that in snowberries. Okay, so now enchanted potions are two over two and a half million percent about two and a half million percent stronger okay that's that's fine that's <laughs> that's fine um no let's keep going we'll make a couple of those for now all right we're gonna quit alchemy so now what i want to do is i want to give myself a lot of health so this is what i'm gonna do i'm going to Use the arcane. And I'm gonna chug the. Um, I'm gonna chug this bad boy. Uh, this one that's over two million, and then Wabushk. And then I'm going to go ahead and go here. Now I want to do uh, my armor. So imperial light armor. Enchantment, I want to do Fortify Health. There we go. And Soul Gem and Bam. So now, uh, you notice that just increased our health a lot. If you look up here, you'll see that our health is at... Hang on, let's get rid of this upgrade. Okay, yeah, so you can see our health bar is a little wacky. Oh my god, what is that? Hang on a second. That is like, how many digits are those? Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten digits. Ten digits. How many is that? Okay, so six digits is a million. Nine digits is a billion. I do believe that's five billion points of health. Almost five, over five and a half billion points of health. So we just basically made ourselves immortal. Uh, we're like now an immortal god. We cannot die. Um, that's fine. So we can take the damage and survive and be perfectly fine. Uh, we're completely immortal. All we need to do is wear our nice uh, little ring we have here. We could wear this necklace too. Or we could wear this necklace as well. Um, but that might crash the game. But you know what? That's fine. Um, you know, let's actually not risk it for the stream. I might do that outside of the stream, but for now, let's just leave it. So this ring right here is all we need for immortality now. This little silver ring right here. Created potions are... Um, what is that again? 23 million percent more powerful. 23 million. So this is basically where you want to stop. If you do, because it's exponential. So if you were to do, use this uh, Fortify Restoration loop one more time, it might have an integer overflow in the game and crash your game. So this is kind of where you want to stop. But the multi-millions uh, is probably a safe place to stop when you come to your, um, your Fortify Restoration looping. So this is a good stopping point. Now we pretty much can work at our leisure. We're done with the looping. That's We graduated from the loop school so now we can take the damage but now we got to make the damage so um now this guy's name by the way his name is severus um what is his last name <laughs> severus dickus okay i forgot about that part um actually it's latin so it would be dicus dicus i think i don't know anyway um he's a smart guy now, he knows he can't die, but what's the fun of not dying if you can't kill other people? Because now let's just demonstrate our health really quick uh, before I do anything else. So I'm going to save, a proper save. This is a great save to have, for sure. Uh, let's not go to Balgroof. I don't want to talk to him yet. I'm going to just anger some guards. Let's actually, you know, let's punch uh, this guy because he's fucking annoying. I'm not doing any damage. Why are you saying victory is yours? Okay, now they're hostile and they're all attacking me. Now you notice that my health bar is not even showing. 
uh, because they're not doing any damage to me. And they're just increasing my light armor as they're all attacking me. Uh, they're really, really trying. Okay, my health bar is now showing a little bit because I'm taking a little bit of damage. Um, but we can fix that later because I could just uh, do some fortify uh, for my armor later on. But yeah, we're effectively immortal now. Um, if we go to our skills, you'll see that we only lost... Um, okay, we lost like... I can't even see... <laughs> I can't even see it. It's such a big number. Uh, we lost, I don't know, like 100 health or something, I think. It's not even that much. Uh, but we have like... Like 10 billion health. So we're perfectly safe. Nothing's gonna ever happen to us. We're effectively immortal now. We can just spam our... Um, we can just spam our... Um, light armor stats by just getting repeatedly slashed across our face with swords. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. I think this is better in first person actually. Here, let me just try to punch back. Now, the problem is we're immortal, but we can't really do any damage. Like, look at that. We're punching. We could use a weapon, uh, but honestly, that's kind of for, for loser, I think. So we're going to... Yeah, they really want to kill me. So let's go ahead and just load that save we did. I think this is it. Please be it. Got the aptitude. You should join the major okay, yeah, so this this looks like it. Um, yeah, this is definitely it. So yeah, uh, we could take the damage. Now we got to deal the damage. Now for this, I want to use... Um, I want to have options, you see. I want to use my fists and I want to use uh, a weapon as well. I want to have options because Severus... He likes to have his options. By the way, this stamina bar thing, that's so annoying. I fucking hate having to uh, freaking, like, worry about stamina. Like, come on. Like, why do we have to worry about stamina? Like, why? who needs to worry about that in the game? So we're going to fix this problem, actually. We're going to go ahead. Uh, we have our ring on, I believe. Um, yeah, it looks like it's on our finger in the, in the photo. Or in the video here. So I'm going to do a fortify enchanting. All I need is this ring. I don't need any potions or anything. So we're going to do that. I'm going to make a fortify enchanting potion here. Quit the alchemy. Now I'm going to make my boots uh, fortify stamina, I believe. So let's go ahead and chug this potion real quick. Oh, we already have one. Okay, well now we have two of them. We have a, a weaker one right here if we need. This is like 2 million and this is 24 million I think yeah wait my dyslexia is really getting to me right now hang on okay this is 2 million as well hang on so is that a bigger number no this is only 274,000 okay so we want this one for sure um we also have our ridiculous fortify restoration potions left over if we need them, just as backup copies. <laughs> You'll notice the value of this potion uh, is worth, what is that, 15 million? Uh, yeah, 15 million gold, that's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, but n not like any vendor is going to have that much money, but that's fine, that's perfectly fine. But well, the thing is, is that if we actually sold this item, to vendor and we get the note that they don't have enough money for it and we can accept it at whatever they can afford if we hit yes on that that might improve our speech to 100 i want to say um i don't know but i will try that out but anyway let's not get distracted by that let's go ahead and get our fortify enchanting go to arcane enchanter here we're gonna go ahead and pick our light boots and then we're gonna do the um, fortify stamina and then we're gonna put a soul gem in it and then craft so now um, 
you'll notice I'm going to start running and my stamina bar doesn't even show up on the screen. Um, if we go to our skill set, you'll see our stamina is now also a ridiculously large number that you can't even see because it's so small because it's the the text is so small the numbers are so big um but yeah but because we have so much stamina uh the bar doesn't even bother to show up we just keep running indefinitely we don't have to worry about running out of stamina ever again that is really nice that is awesome um but i did notice another a couple things though so Severus here, he's a diehard Imperialist. And I noticed that we have the armor, we have the boots, but we don't have any gloves or helmet for Imperials. So we're gonna actually go over to the um let's actually make a couple fortify smithing uh potions. So we got our ring on still. So hang on, dude. Here I'm just gonna do this. Thank you. <laughs> Ferengar can you please get out get out of me. Okay, we actually already have um let's make one more. Let's make a couple more. Okay. So let's gonna quit the alchemy. So now we're gonna go ahead and chug one of those potions again. Okay, we're gonna make a... Okay, we have a wooden sword here. Let's make this wooden sword do... I don't know. Um... Okay, I just wasted this. Um... Whoops. Oh well. It's fine. That's fine. We can make more. But anyway, so what we're going to do is, I didn't mean to make a fortify enchantment, I meant to make a fortify smithing. Now fortify smithing, I believe, what do you even need for that? Um, let me look it up, I have it on my phone here, hang on. Um... Okay, we need blister wart, glowing mushroom, saber cat tooth, and spriggan sap. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Arcadia's cauldron and we're gonna put items. Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, Skyrim, what, what what's happening? <laughs> Skyrim, explain yourself, please. Todd, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh no, wait, I can't see Twitch. Twitch, come back to me. Okay, there we go. All right. So yeah, we're effectively immortal. Uh, now we're on a quest to do some damage is our main goal right now. We can also um, upgrade our armor rating too by billions and never really take damage which is kind of redundant though because we have so much health so it's not like we really, we really need to be immortal but hey i mean kind of already are immortal really now it is night time so oh, unfortunately she is closed so we're gonna just wait until morning uh let's do seven hours now i want the uh, fortify not fortify i want the fire damage enchantment so that means I'm going to have to go to Dawnstar again and basically punch the Khajiit there until I get a fire weapon I can disenchant. Or someone here might have one uh, in, in this city. You look rather pale. Could be a take a look. You look rather pale. Like, come on, what is it? Why do you keep insulting me like that? Okay, so here we go. We got Blister Wart. I'm going to just take all of those. Thank you. Um, shit, I need to see the list again. Hang on. I have the memory of a, of a goat sometimes. Okay, so we got blister wart. Now we need glowing mushroom. Um, wait a minute. Did we already have this stuff? I feel like I did. Hang on, am I stupid? 
Okay, well, we just bought the blister wart. Anytime if you need a remedy. I think I have some, hang on, I think I have some, some saved in my chest. Oh, wait a minute, I don't have a chest. I don't live with Isolde in this one. I forgot. I have another saved game that I keep getting mixed up. Oh my gosh, early dementia, I'm sorry. Oh, if I don't see anything I like, I'm just gonna punch you in the face, but then you'll forget about it. But do I? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? So we need blister wart. We need glowing mushroom. Uh, we have glow dust, but no glowing mushrooms. Uh, what about saber cat tooth? Um, QRS. No, that's fine. We actually have um, Sprig and Sap, which is one of the things we needed. So actually we should be fine. We have bl six Blister Wart. How much blister, uh, Sprig and Sap do I have? Because we can just use those two items. Um, shoot, I don't have any. Okay, that's fine. Alright, Arcadia. Sorry, I gotta punch you. Nothing personal, it's all business. So I need Sprig and Sap, Glowing Mushroom, or Saber Cat Tooth. For sale. Maybe a hearty... So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Okay, so we're gonna go here. Um, I guess we'll just take more Blister Wart, why not? We have the money for it, after all. Um, let's see... We don't need any more fish or salts, so we don't need any more fortify restoration potions ever again. So that's awesome. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Brain, eyes, work faster, please. Okay, there we go. Uh, she doesn't have any more. Quick save. This is really the best way to uh, get what you need, honestly. I know it looks stupid, but <laughs> it's really the best way to get what you need in this game. Take a look. All right, so we're gonna go back here. More blister. We don't need more blister wart. We just need sprig and sap or something else, um, really. And she does get sprig and sap pretty often. We don't need a hagrave and claw. Um. Sprig and sap. No, there's no sprig and sap. Wait, what else can I get? Glowing Mushroom was another thing, yeah. Glow Dust, of course. Something that looks like it, but it's not it. Um, yeah, or Saber Tooth Cat. Or Cat Saber Tooth. And no, she doesn't have anything. So we're going to have to punch you again. Things I do. <laughs> Need something? Take a look. All right, so let's go over here. She definitely has a lot of blister wart, but doesn't have anything else that I need. We might travel to a different person if she doesn't show anything. Spider egg. Do you have a saber? No, you don't have a saber tooth. Um. Glowing Mushroom. My, I wasn't looking for that. Glow Dust. Okay. So she's kind of um, annoying us really badly. So I'm going to attempt to leave her shop. I really don't know which door to use. Oh my god, why do I get so confused still? Okay, that's just, okay here we go. <laughs> so I'm going to quick travel. Um, I think I'll go to Riften. That guy in Riften seems to have what I need. When Arcadia doesn't. We almost have what we need. We're so close. For Fortify Smithing. So let's go to Riften. Actually we need to go to Riften anyway. Because there's, I want to pick up uh, something here. But first I need a weapon though. Before I can really go here. 
Um, a weapon would that one hits everybody would make this quest a lot faster for me. Uh, just to put to say in the least, you know, <laughs> getting one hit any NPC all the way to the last boss. That's perfectly fine, you know, having that kind of power. Um, and where is he? I believe he is down here on like the docks. Is there stairs over here? Yeah, there are stairs. Let's go down here. Perfect. Alright. And please have what I need. El Grimm's elixirs. Oh, okay, you're the this place. Take a look. Okay, please have what I need. Bone meal said so no. I need glowing mushrooms. Okay, she has a glowing mushroom. I'll take that off your hands. Um, a sprig and sap or saber tooth. She has sprig and sap as well. That's beautiful. That's perfect. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I think that's all we need. Be careful. I think we're good. So we're going to go back to White Run. That was pretty quick. Oh, okay. I never even greeted you properly. Okay. That was really weird. Why are you talking to me all the way down here? Okay, anyway. <laughs> the NPCs in this game never fail to amaze me. So let's go to um, White Run. I'm really glad I wasn't streaming when I was doing like the initial part of this journey with uh, leveling up my sneak and oh my god it took me like probably f seven eight hours of gameplay to get there but it's worth it for this um, because you know if you think about it we're not using any mods Okay, I am using a mod, but it's just to add creatures, different creatures to the game. And we also have Kratos. I totally forgot about him, but we have Kratos uh, for some reason as a companion option. And he's he's in one of the uh, taverns here. But we're going to completely ignore that fact because this is Skyrim as, as Todd intended it. <laughs> So now we just want to make, um, we want to, our goal is to make a ring or a necklace that helps us with our, uh, smithing abilities. And honestly, that's all we really need as far as one hitting everything in the game. We could, um, enchant the sword as well. Uh, but for now let's do this. So I'm going to... Go ahead and go here. I'm still wearing my ring, I believe. So we want to do fortify smithing. So we want to do blister wart and glowing mushroom. Okay, so um, we I, that was a big number. I didn't have enough time to look at it. Um, so for the push of fortify smithing. So for 30 seconds, uh, weapon and armor improving is that much better. Oh my gosh, okay. Wait a minute, I'm so stupid. Oh my god, why am I so stupid? No, chat, why am I so stupid? I didn't need to do this. I could have just... <sighs> It's fine. This damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passion to play. I just need to use one of my potions. I can make an item that does this for me. Um, where are they? Okay. So we want to drink one of those bad boys. Let's kick Ferengar off first. So now... Let's 
Let's go ahead and chug this potion. Wait a minute, we don't have anything to put it on. You know, let's just put it on another ring. So let's go ahead and chug it. And we're gonna go inside of Ferengar for a little bit. Okay, that sounds a little weird, but uh, yeah. So we're just gonna put this on. And then we're gonna do fortify, fortify smithing. Here we go. And um, now it shows a negative. Okay, what was that? Hang on, I saw a negative number. Um, okay, so what did we just create right now? Um, so this one, weapons and armor can be improved. What is that? It's a negative. How many digits is that? That's three, six, nine. So that's nine digits. So that's two negative two million percent better. Okay, yeah, that's uh. <laughs> So, now I saw that before, and basically if it's a negative number, uh, it doesn't matter. It's still a big number, and it's still going to make it very powerful. The negative means you can basically one-hit it. So, it's still, it's it's fine if it shows a negative number. Don't be alarmed if you see a negative uh, number on your percentages. It just means that the game integer overflowed a little bit, and... It made a number so high that it looped back to a negative number. That's just how computers work. Uh, and I'm going the wrong way. So let's go this way. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed Oh, to come on, dude. Not now. I'm in the middle of something. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. Okay, I don't care about the Dawnstar Museum, dude. Come on. Okay, yes, that's great. Like that's it. Yep. Go. Yep. Goodbye. Jesus. Okay. Let's go ahead and save because actually we don't need to save. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchants. So I want to make um leather helmet, imperial leather helmet and imperial leather gloves. Pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. So what we're going to do Actually, you know what? First, let's use let's uh, upgrade a weapon because we need a weapon first. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off. Actually, we could just put on that necklace. We don't have to take off anything. We're gonna put on this necklace that does um, negative two million percent uh, better weapons and armor. So we're gonna put that on. Now we're just gonna go to this workbench and okay, I get it. Okay, I need leather to do that. So let's buy some leather from her. I don't claim to be the best looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. So let's get a miscellaneous and she has some leather. We're gonna just buy, I don't know, probably like four just to be safe. And I think we need a couple other strips later, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy two of those. Okay, I think we're set. Oh, we also need firewood uh, because I'm I plan to use my wooden sword. Um, so let's go ahead and travel to Riverwood. They have free firewood. <coughs> Real quick, I should really drink some water. Actually, my whoo! Oh, here we go. Yeah, these exploits, they uh, dehydrate me a little bit, so I need to drink a little bit of water before continuing. So, to get firewood, it's really easy in this game. Um, you can't just use a, you can't just use a chopping block when someone's using it, so let's go, there is another one over here, though. But in order to use a chopping block, you need to have an axe, uh, but there is an axe for free you can just take here. So we're going to just take this axe, and then there should be a chopping block over here? Or maybe that's the only one? I thought there was another one. Well, 
We're going to just do this one time. And we're going to go back. Sword here because there's a grindstone. So let's just go ahead and use the grindstone. Okay. So we're going to go use our wooden sword. So now, uh, because I'm wearing the, the Fortify Smithing Necklace, this wooden sword is suddenly going to make... Uh, do 750 damage with each swing. Um... <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> Our smithing just jumped to 100. So I'm pretty sure my smithing was at like 19 or something. And I just made a wooden sword that can do 740 damage. Now, to put that in perspective, I think the, the strongest base damage weapon in the game is like 20 something? 20? No more than 30. And we now have a wooden sword that can one hit every single creature, person, or anything in this game, really. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. And uh, yeah, we pretty much won the game. Uh, we have our one-hit weapon and immortality. And uh, we don't have to worry about stamina. Um, so we're going to demonstrate the sword and just how it works. So I'm going to just do a nice little, uh, we're going to actually do a proper save here, because this is pretty important. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to brutally murder everybody. Just one hit, kills everybody. That's fine. We don't take damage. We one hit everybody. There goes Alvar. I thought he was essential. I guess he's not an essential NPC. Everyone's just looking at me in horror as I slowly go toward them. And there goes... Oh my gosh, what is he doing? He's like doing some sort of uh, guitar master move here. Like, finishing up his guitar. You shouldn't leave things to trip over. That's all you had to say! I just one hit Fandel in front of you and that's all you had to say? Now, unfortunately, you can't kill children um, because, you know, Todd Howard had some morality, so I guess that's good for him. Um, but yeah, everybody, everything in the world can be one-hitted by us. We can literally just do whatever we want at this point. Now, the thing is, is that it's fun to use a weapon, but... You know what? Um, using weapons is so cliche. Like, it would be nice to just use my hands, really. I'm gonna go ahead and kill Sven. Um, we're gonna go ahead and kill you. And we're gonna kill you. Okay, you're essential, so you can't die, apparently. But Sven was not essential, so he cannot survive. Children are essential, so they can't die either. Um... So yeah, um, now that we're at this godhood state, uh, what do we do, really? What is, the, what is there to do, to be honest? I mean, we've pretty much beaten the game. No, 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 go back. Um, we could, I guess, go in this uh, Riverwood Trader, I believe. Well, one of us has to do something. Oh, okay. I don't know what I was stabbing there, but okay. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> I just death stabbed her in the air and it affected her for some reason. I can also kill a chicken too. Really easy. Oh, who's shooting arrows? At? Oh, is it you still? Okay, so let's reload this because I don't want to be Anakin Skywalker. Uh, but it that, is, that just kind of shows you a little bit of what we can do. Uh, we could take this up a lot more, though. We're going to be demonstrating um, just how powerful we are 
for more comparison. But yeah, we're a little guy with our little wooden toy sword that can one hit everything. Now we, what I want to do is I want to go to Riften because there is a guy in Riften that has uh, gloves that do fortify unarmed damage. And these are the only gloves in the game that do it. And he's like in like the ratways underneath Riften. So I have to go there and just take his gloves really. And then that's it. I could just take, I could destroy those and get the fortify uh, unarmed. And that will, that will, <laughs> you can imagine what's going to happen uh, after that. So. For your sake, I hope you took that armor from the dead Imperial scout. Okay, I dude, I'm with the Imperials, so fuck you. Any luck gathering those ingredients? Yeah, I'll get right on it. So I believe this is the way in, I want to say. Let's go ahead and save because I might get lost. Um, I haven't been in here a lot. <laughs> and I really don't want to spend a lot of time here. I just want to get these gloves. So we're in these uh, nice looking sewers. Uh, there's a human skull immediately at the, greeting us at the door. So you know it's a nice place. Um... Someone has a fire in here that definitely would kill you over time because it's going to gather uh, carbon monoxide. So, not really smart. There's some giant rats here because of my monster mod. It's okay, we can just one hit all of them. Okay. Just going to one hit everybody, that's fine. We got our nice little wooden sword here. What is that? Okay. Ouch. Okay, that hurts. Dude, come on, don't give me diseases right now, okay? Did we come from here? We came from here, didn't we? I guess so turned around in these dungeons. Okay, I think we go this way? So I think we go here. Okay, yeah, there he is. Gian the Fist. We're just going to go ahead and one-hit him, and that's it. We're going to take his gloves, as well as his gold and his grilled chicken breast, which looks kind of good, actually. Uh, Ring of Recuperation. Stamina regenerates 20% faster. Oh, that's cute. I have unlimited stamina. Um, gloves of the Pugilist. Okay, this is it. So we want to take these gloves. Unarmed strikes do 10 additional damage. So we're going to take that and we're going to disenchant that back in white run but we can't fast travel from here so now we have to leave um so we're going to go back the way we came and there's a bat oh no don't give me covid stop it that's how covid started was this immortal guy getting it and then spreading it to everybody because he's immortal. Okay, so unfortunately we can't go back the way we came because we dropped down a cliff. So we're going to have to go find a way out of here now. I think it's fine. We could just go back this way. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only way we can go. Um, okay, this is where we fought the guy. Oh, look, there's a alchemy lab right here. Um, I want to go back to White Run though. I want to make some imp the Imperial armor set. I don't know why I put my sword away. There we go. Okay, this looks like the way out. So I'm gonna go this way, or not. They're probably going deeper in, I guess. Okay, yeah, this is where we need to go. Okay, yeah, this is the way back. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Yep, I remember this. So we're, we're going back out. And Wabushk. Oh, 
So now we're going to go and we're going to, after I do all this, I'm going to start doing the main quest. I want to play the game as a one hit immortal man, because that's going to be the best way to play this game. I feel like, and yeah, I think it's kind of going to ruin the experience for me because, well, I actually never played the main quest in this game and I'm just going to play it as some immortal guy. I think it's still going to be fun though. I mean, it's going to be hilariously fun. Um, it's going to be nice to just kind of look at the bosses and the enemies without having to worry about dying. So let's put my weapon away so it doesn't alarm anybody. Now I got my leather strips, so I'm going to forge myself um, some leather armor pieces. Uh, let's do... Oh, wait a minute. We have to um, level up first. So we just got smithing 100 because of that sword we improved. That jumped us all the way up to level 29. <laughs> oh my god. So we're going to go smithing and we're going to get every single bonus. So we can do steel, arcane, and then we want to do... Uh, we... Okay, I don't understand how this thing works. It's really annoying. Oh my god. No. God damn it. Go over here. There we go. Dwarven smithing. Orcish smithing. Ebony smithing. Some of the highest level smithing you can get to. Elven smithing. Advanced armors. Glass smithing. And dragon armor, because why not? Oh, and Daedric smithing. Okay. So now we're just a master blacksmith all of a sudden because we made that wonderful sword. But it's hilarious because I'm not going to actually use all of those. I actually don't know why I did all of them, but I just kind of wanted to have them, I guess. So now you'll notice we can make some crazy shit here. Like we can make some ebony armor, even though I've never fought an ebony soldier in my life. Um, oh wait, you can just get ebony ingots? Okay. Yeah, that might be something you have to do later. But, I mean, it's fine. We already have our armor, which is, um, already giving me 10 billion health. And we're just gonna do the imperial, um, I'm gonna get a helmet, the leather helmet. Let's get these bracers first. Oh, I need some steel ingots. Okay. Well, let me buy some steel ingots. Got some good I don't claim to be the. Take a look. Here, do you have any steel ingots for me? Yeah, there, there you go. I'll just take them all. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. No, I'm good. I have everything I need, honestly. Okay, so now we can make the. Um, Light bracers. Oh. Why can't we make the helmet? Oh, we need more steel ingots, really? And leather strips? <sighs> okay, fine. Sorry, I had to clear my throat a little bit. My father in -law. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Okay. So let's get some more. Uh, leather strips. How many did we need? Just one, I think, yeah. And then we needed... Okay, well, there's a problem. She's off still ingots, but you know what that means. We're just gonna... One hit her. Kill her. It's okay. It works when you kill them, too, by the way. That, I guess they're angry for a split second, so... <laughs> Let's see. Items. No. Man. You think all take a look. Okay, so now you have steel ingots. Ah, for 
frick's sake. Okay, you suck. I'm gonna go to the guy inside. Maybe we should put the sword away, because maybe the killing isn't really working. So let's go ahead and unarm ourselves real quick. Um Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry. We got plenty of steel for fighting. Last okay, there we go. Got small weapon. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Okay, so steel ingots. We just need some of those. Yes, let's just take them all. Good doing business with. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna make our helmet. I don't know why a leather helmet needs steel. Uh, that's quite beyond me. But you know, I I didn't make this game. <laughs> Todd Howard, you're you're you're. So, you're you're truly special. Truly special. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try that again. Wait, we had our fortify smithing on, yeah? Imperial light helmet, here we go. So, there we go. <laughs> now, what we want to do is we want to go to the workbench. I believe we have our fortify spithing on. Yeah, so now we can improve our light boots to increase my stamina by way more. Which is not necessary. I actually don't want to break the game, so let's not do that. Uh, light bracers. We can add armor. On top of our health so now we might not be able to, <laughs> we might be we might not be able to even take damage at this point uh, we're gonna go ahead and craft those then the light helmet uh, what <laughs> what is that armor rating okay hang on a second that is gonna increase because of my uh, blacksmithing necklace this leather helmet's gonna give me um, what is that? What is that? I can't even see it. Okay, it's 109 million uh, armor. Okay, yeah, that that's, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. So, now you'll see, um... Oh yeah, we can also incre uh, improve our armor too, yeah? Imperial light armor. Okay, we need leather. So let's just buy some leather real quick. Um, I mean, we don't really need it, but I just want to do it because of the science. <laughs> um, here, give me your leather, dude. Welcome to. We've got some the finest weapons and armor. So what we can do now is we can go to here, just get the leather. Thank you. Good doing business with you. Oh, huh? oh, hi. Okay, so we're gonna go here again. Oh, there we go. So now we're gonna. <laughs> you notice that this increases my health by. Um, let's see, that's three, three. Wait, that's six, nine. So it's over, I think it's over a million points, I want to say. Or is that 13 million? I can't tell. Hang on, that's 1,000, 1 million. Okay, no, it's 1 billion points. I'm sorry, over 1 billion points. Uh, but now we're going to increase the armor on this by, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, the armor on this is now going to be, let's see, that's 9518021. So that's 218 uh, million. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and craft that. Perfect. 
So I don't know if we can even take damage anymore, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it shows our uh, armor levels here. Hang on, where does it show it? Or does this show our armor level? Okay, does it show our armor level here? But uh, basically, we can't really take any damage anymore. Especially now if we equip our... Um, let's see. Imperial Light Bracers Legendary. So this is doing probably a million or a billion armor. Um, I did improve these boots though. But that's fine. I don't really need to improve those. I did improve this as well. Um... But yeah, you can kind of see, uh, basically we don't, we don't need anything anymore. We have everything we need. We're just wearing a simple, or just a simple, we look like just a simple legionnaire of the empire, but really we're an immortal god. Um, now I, I liked using light armor because I like to be able to run and move. So obviously you can do the same thing with heavier armor, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, we're going to go this way. And we have some unarmed gloves to destroy, uh, so we can get fortified and armed. And I'm going to enchant those onto my leather bracers. And that way we can just one punch everything in the universe, as well as one hit with our wooden sword if we choose to. Um, I think having something for archery would be a good laugh as well. But maybe, maybe not today for that. So we could literally just take out the entire Stormcloak Rebellion just by ourselves, to be honest. That's all we really need, is just us. You don't need an army, you don't need anything, all you need is just me. And I know that sounds kind of conceited, but honestly at this point, it's kind of the truth. It's kind of the truth, to be honest. So, okay, this is the weaker one, yeah? No, that's the weaker one. Okay, this is the stronger one. I'm gonna actually go ahead and just leave this one so I don't get confused anymore. So let's go ahead and just drop that one. There you go. You can have that one. So now I want to go ahead and... Oh wait, first I need to chug. So wait, first I want to... Before I chug anything, I want to disenchant the Gloves of the Pugilist. So now we can do fortify, um, if you look at our enchantment options, now we can do fortify unarmed, I believe. It should be on here. Yep, there it is. Fortify unarmed. So without any improvements, that means only unarmed strikes do five additional damage. Okay, that sounds, that sounds great. Let's check our potion now. And let's um, look at that again. So we're going to chug the potion. We're going to use the enchanter again. And we're going to go to item, we're going to go to our light bracers, and then we're going to do the fortify unarmed. Oh, bam. Smack in a, a grand soul jam, and then wabooshk. So now we can one hit everything in the game with our fists if we want to. Um, if you look at our apparel, so. You'll see our unarmed, unarmed strikes now do, oh gosh, I, I struggle with these big numbers. I have like some kind of dyslexia when it comes to, um, to a lot of big numbers like this when they're all put together. Hang on. So that's, uh, three, nine, two, two. So that's six. It's nine. So yeah, it's 1.4 billion, uh, additional damage with unarmed. These leather bracers also add to our armor rating. And I just noticed too, if you look next to our carrying carrying weight on the bottom, you'll see our armor rating. Our total armor rating for everything we're wearing is, what is that? That is three, six. Hang on, it's three, six. Okay, it's 436 million uh, points to armor rating. So yeah, 
I think we're immortal. I don't think we can literally legitimately take any damage, even if we were smacked repeatedly by giants with their giant clubs or like frost giants or even ebony warriors. I don't know if they could even do damage to us. Uh, we could try to die, but it's going to be very, 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 very uh, probably impossible at this point, I think. So anyway, uh, we have our equipment. Um, I could do something with the helmet, but I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing fortify. Excuse me. I was thinking we could do fortify. Um, maybe we could make our helmet or fortify alchemy. But that's not really... I mean, I have a ring for that, so I don't really need to do that. Instead, let's go ahead and see what other things we can do. Oh yeah, we could enchant our sword to do fire damage. That'd be pretty a big laugh to have a freaking uh, wooden sword that does fire damage. <laughs> I mean, it should burn the sword, but it doesn't. So, I mean, yeah. So hang on, this is something we can enchant. Okay, nice. I want to see what my options are with the helmet. So let's just select the helmet and then see what we can do. Um... Mm hmm We could do Fortify. We could do Conjuration. I don't really use magic, so I don't really need that. I don't need any regeneration stuff. Um, we could Fortify Archery with this. You know, let's go ahead and do that. Might as well. So we're gonna uh, quit enchanting. Um, I think I'm out of Fortify... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm out of enchantment potions, I think. Yeah, those are just uh, restoration potions. Okay. So let's put on... Um, am I wearing my rink for Fortify Alchemy? Hang on. Let me see. Okay, yeah, so my my necklace is the smithing one, and my ring is the potions one. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the alchemy table. And Ferengar has complained to me for some reason, even though I'm not listening to him. Okay, so let's make ourselves a potion, and then we're going to go ahead and chug it really quick. So item, we're going to do the light helmet, and then we're going to do an enchantment of archery, and then smack in a soul gem, and then <laughs> negative uh, something six billion, I think it was, that's what you saw there, I don't know. Maybe it was 600 billion, I really don't know, I couldn't tell, I'm not going to really look at it to be honest. Um, so now all we need is, I think we have a bow, don't we? Uh, yeah, we have a sanctified hunting bow. I kind of just want a regular bow, to be honest. We could always just sell this stuff. We don't really need these weapons anymore. We can't uh, disenchant them anymore because we already did those. Um, okay, last thing I want to do is I just want to... Um, I want to go back to Dawnstar. I want to get the Fortify uh, Burning... So I can make the sword do burn damage as well. Completely unnecessary, but I think we'll just do it for a good laugh. You know what, never mind, it's gonna take too long. Let's just get ourselves a bow, a simple bow. We don't need a, a, a fancy bow, just, let's just get a simple hunting bow. And we're set for life with just a simple hunting bow. Um. I think they sell one at the blacksmith, yeah? They should. After all, we're just a simple le legionary soldier. We don't need to spend money on... I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Okay, you're closed for the night? Okay, fine. I'm just gonna wait here 
all night then. <laughs> She's just looking at me like, why are you just standing there for so many hours? Steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Okay, I'm gonna go inside because you kinda Oh, you're not open yet. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Okay, when do you open? It's nine in the morning. For feck's sake, come on. Stop slacking. Stay away from that. Okay, there we go. Finally. Take five years to open. Jesus. Alright, hey dude. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We we've got small Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, sir. We don't need a blessed Imperial bow. We don't need anything fancy. Let's just get a regular We do need some arrows. What are glass arrows? Why why? Why would glass be strong? I don't understand. Okay, let's get glass mace. What the hell? Okay, I don't know the lord that well. All we need are simple iron arrows, so we're going to get a bunch of iron arrows. Um, Warhammer of Souls. Oh, we could use that enchantment. Hmm. Where are their, uh, is that all their bows they have? They just have that fancy one? Okay, that's 800 gold. I don't really want to spend that much. Oh, we can just pick up a bow from a bandit. It's fine. So let's go out and, uh, fight some... Let's go fight some giants and mammoths. That sounds like a good laugh. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we could fight some bandits too and just pick up a hunting bow from them. That's perfectly fine. So yeah, we can just run indefinitely because stamina. And The bark just kind of, the bar just kind of. We don't have to have to. Definitely a much faster way to play the game. <laughs> just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. What do we do? We run, run. Dee, 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 dee. I love to run. Dee, dee, dee. Sometimes though, when he... Oh, what's this? He's here to keep me out? No, I don't think so. So we're just going to punch each of these. Dude. Okay, the problem with the fists is that they don't really work well unless you're in first person.
Science. There you go. Yeah, aiming the fist can be a little bit tricky to get used to. Oh my god, can you just... There you go. Perfect. She's warning me to back off, but honestly, I think she's the one that needs to back off because look at me. Like... Where'd you go? Um... Mate, I don't think that's going to be happening. Oh, wait, do you have a bow, by the way? Oh, she has a dwarven bow. Are you kidding me? I just wanted a simple bow. You couldn't just give me a simple bow. You had to be a complicated bandit. It's probably because I'm higher level now, so the game thinks I should be getting higher level things. Oh, you definitely have a bow. All of you have bows. Okay, here we go. Do you all have dwarven bows because I buggered the game? Hang on. Imperial bow? Okay, I'll take that one. And I'll take your arrows. What kind of bow do you have? I'm just kind of shopping for bows right now. Hunting bow, there we go. That's what I wanted. I like to use the weakest stuff to just to kind of make a point a little bit. Heh, <laughs> There we go. Okay, so I think it's pretty much all the thugs here. I'm not going to go inside. Okay, fine. Let's just go inside and do this real quick. Might as well just clear out this fortress while we're here. That's cute. Oh, there's a chopping wood here. Wow, this is the source for like the best weapon in the game. All this wood here. You guys are really rich. <laughs> okay, Todd Howard, what was that? The guy just kind of flung to the ground so dramatically. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh. The cute little traps tried to damage me, but they didn't really do anything to me. Really? That was supposed to get me? Oh, magic actually damages me a little bit. Okay, that's nice. But, eh, doesn't do that much damage at all, to be honest. Okay, I just kind of punched through your shields a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even, it didn't even hit the shield, it just went right through his shield. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. The violence. Oh, think of the children, Severus. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> He's just like, I'm sick and tired of your little bullshit and your little knife. I don't think she's going to be waiting for you any longer, dude. Because I'm here. Oh, you're a bandit marauder. Ooh, you look a little bit fancy. Oh, well. Um, can you just... There we go. Okay, I just... I just need him in the groin and threw him on the ground. That's fine. Uh, 148 gold, I'll take. I don't need anything else. Just money's fine. Oh. Search corpse. Studded imperial armor. Wow. That's awesome. Except, I can't replace my armor, because I'm immortal with my armor. I'm not going to find any ar better armor in the game than I already have. So, don't have to worry about that. Okay, I thought that dummy was a person. By the way, we can do, like, infinite power moves because we have unlimited stamina now, so...
And then Power Punch, that's just kind of what a Power Punch looks like. Just a really uh, dramatic punch. Oh yeah, we have to go to the prison here. Um, there is a prison. Well, we don't have to, but I kind of want to. Okay, it was over here. Yeah, here it is. Just a few more baddies we have to take care of. It's fine. We could actually start using the sword. It's kind of easier to hit things with this with the weapon. Actually, let's try the hunting bow. Um, so I'm just gonna see what it's like. Yeah, I have 100 sneak, by the way. Wait, what does this look like? I'm crawling down the stairs. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Oh my god, Todd, this is really creepy. Is this a game for children? I don't think this is a game for children. Look how creepy this is. Oh my, oh wow, it's like watching a spider go down the stairs. Okay. Let's get our sword out, actually. Um, no, we're, I don't care about all these cool-looking weapons. I want my wooden sword. There we go. It's on the bottom because the game thinks it's the, it's the weakest weapon. <sighs> yeah, you guys are supposed to be, like, really powerful. All you're doing is draining my magicka, and I don't really use it. Oh, it's a Dargonian! Look how cute he is! That's cute. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay! I was just... I was just running out of patience, I guess. And I got a little bit angry. You know, it's gotta be kind of uncomfortable to die that way. I mean, imagine getting a wooden sword forced into you like that. It's just... Ugh, don't want to think about that. <laughs> okay, so now we want to go... To the mammoths? I think they're over here. Yeah, I think they're this way. So I'm just gonna run over here. Indefinitely run, because I can do that. So basically the story with Severus is he is actually a, uh, a, a legionnaire in training. That's why he has a wooden sword, you see. Um, he was training in basic uh basic training basically and he was so good at it he did, he stumbled upon immortality in his equipment and now to this day he's still using his he's still using the same equipment that he was training with because it's the best equipment in the world so there you go he was just that's all he needed was his practicing sword All right, giants, I just killed your son. Come kill me. So yeah, we're just going to stand here and increase my light armor rating. Look at them. So these giants usually one hit you or like two, three hit you. Also, this mod, I have it to where there's like, um... There's like different kinds of giants, so like there's young giants, and then there's uh, mother matriarch giants. And I don't know why they're all using their hands. They should really start using their clubs more. Look at that, they're just using their hand that doesn't have the weapon. Like, that's really stupid.
Okay, you kind of missed. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that would usually send me flying, but... So let's just kind of stay in the middle of these giants, let them hit us a little bit. Okay, I'm too close, maybe. That's why they're using their hands. Here, use your clubs. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, they're really starting to break the game a little bit. They're kind of getting me stuck. Why are you using your hand? Use your club, you idiots. <laughs> they're just bitch slapping me. There we go. Perfect. Like every single hit, they're upgrading my light armor skill. But you know what? I'm getting a little bit of social phobia. Let's tone down the crowd a little bit. So I'm gonna just kill a couple of them. There we go. No problem. Oh my gosh, you're so ugly. Look at you. Stomping on me. This is like how my ex treated me. Almost. Close, close to this. I mean, that wasn't that. Actually, this was. This isn't as bad. Um, it's pretty close, but it's not as bad as. Uh, she's not doing it as badly, so it's nice. She's bitch slapping me though, for some reason. Use your club. Stop using your hand, you idiot. Why would you use your hand when you have a weapon in the other hand? Why do you keep slapping me? Oh, there you go. Oh, of course, you use your club. Then I walk away. That's fine. What we're gonna do um, is I'm actually gonna unequip myself. I'm just gonna try to punch her. It's a little bit hard because her hitbox is a little skewered. Okay. And my reach. Uh, oh, there we go. We just punched her in the ass and now she's dead. <laughs> okay. Well, that was uh, interesting physics there, Todd. Um, we can search her, and she's going to have some mammoth tusks, her toes for some reason. Um, dwarven armor. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We could just sell that for money, I guess. Um, oh, there's a baby mammoth. We can't kill the baby mammoth. Because uh, that just I don't want to get banned. But there is a big mammoth right here. And these bad boys, they can like three hit you. Although this one te seems to be having some kind of episode. Uh, let's see, he, she is vibrating into the uh, pond for some reason. I don't know why. Oh yeah, now all the mammoths are just joining in. There's three of them. Pretty spooky, pretty powerful beings. Uh, they're not doing as much damage as the giants though. And it's not a big deal, I can just kind of go ahead and punch this one, and now he's dead. And I'm going to punch this one as well. And now she's dead as well. And then there's this one that's twitched into the terrain. Let me get you out of your misery there, mate. There we go. Really nice. So yeah. Uh, Skyrim, this is uh, as it was intended. I didn't use any mods. We literally just used uh, Todd Howard's designed intent, designed, um, I'm sorry, let me start over. We just used Todd Howard's intended features, uh, game design, literally, that's all we did. We're not doing the, anything that the game told us that we couldn't do. And that is what's amazing about this to me. So let's go back. We're going to go ahead and do the main quest real quick. I would like to do... I just want to see the reaction of the NPCs. Why I just want to hit the dragon in front of them. That's kind of the main reason why I want to do this. I just want to see like what happens to the NPCs when like things are done quicker than they should be done. I feel like it's going to break the game a little bit. Um, so I'm going to be saving often so I don't get soft blocked on any quests. Um, so let's just jump over here. Uh, but, but before we do any quests, let's just go, um, let's just drop a proper save right here. 
And then I'm going to start a, a nice little alternate universe with uh, White Run. Yeah, there you go. Perfectly fine. Last witness killed. Okay, yeah, that's fine. They just died so quickly they couldn't get any attention from anybody. So we just got away with killing two guards at the front gate, I think. Oh, no, we didn't. They somehow noticed. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's one that's glitched in the door. Okay, Todd, what's happening? Skyrim? Hey, Skyrim. What, what's happening? <laughs> Why is there a man stuck in the door? Okay, he's trying to get out of the door. He's not really succeeding, though. He's kind of stuck inside the door. It's not really the most common problem. We need to get him out of his misery, okay? We need to do him a mercy. Can we even hit him? Okay, there he is. Okay, there we go. We got him out of his misery. He was stuck in the door. It was a mercy kill. Nobody can get angry. Let's actually use my sword because it's really annoying to aim my fists. So we got my sword here. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Never should have come here after I killed him. There we go. Perfect. What the? Someone just said, what the? Oh, who hurt me? Oh, someone's shooting arrows at me? Oh, it's you. Bad mistake, my friend. You don't pick a fight with a god. I'm sorry, that's not a, not a good idea. There you go. Ulfric Battleborn, he's with the Stormcloaks. I only failed a quest because I killed her. Oh well. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Just another day in White Run. Alternate universes. Oh, last ba last witness killed. Wait a minute. Are you sure about that? Because there's this guy right here. Okay. Any more witnesses? Oh yeah, you. But I can't kill you. That's kind of a problem. Gosh, that guy looks like he's just trying to read something. Okay, so we took care of the first level. Let's go up to the second level. There you go. Alright, let's get this guy because he's annoying. There we go. Perfect. I'm for the Imperials, bitch. Stop. Oh my gosh, you're still following me. Okay, let's not go to the Companions Guild because that might bugger the quests. Even though this is a separate save that I'm not keeping, I don't want to risk it. Oh, Zelda. Ne I'll never kill Zelda. So yeah, we're just pretty much a one-man army. We can just go in here by ourselves. No help from undead companions, just me by myself. And they're gonna really try their their hardest to kill me, but they're not gonna succeed. As you can see, they're kind of backing away from me because they're a little bit afraid after they take a, a strike. And I'm not, I don't blame them. There you go. Someone do something. Someone do something. Help. Someone. Someone do something. <laughs> he just went, oh. And I hit right through his shield. I just heard his shield. I just hit his shield and that that was enough. Just tapping his shield killed him. I don't understand how that works. Oh my gosh, why did he jump up in the air a little bit? Varengar, fuck you. Okay, so these are the unkillable NPCs just kind of gathering here. A 
I'm literally just hitting wood, but somehow it's still hurting him. Uh, did I see an arrow come from this room? No, no one hiding here? Okay. So yeah, I just overran all of White Run by myself. Vanguard, you honestly, you're super annoying, so fuck you. My health bar hasn't even showed up yet, because no one's damaged me enough to do... You don't stand a chance. They haven't damaged me enough to take any health away, because my armor rating's so high. Even with magic, they're not taking any health away. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk around uh, at my leisure. Oh, there's someone up there. Oh, it's you! Clever little bugger. Okay, I'm just gonna go upstairs now and get that guy. And... Actually, you know what? Okay, fine. You wanna come? <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Just do a, did a kickflip. Okay. Yeah, I can, dude. Well, actually, you're right, because you're not killable, really. Ferengar, calm down. Ear left, relax. Okay, so we're gonna go to here. I think there's more guards at the Great Porch, so let's go ahead and just have just a little bit more fun. Because this, this is what I do for fun, really. I mean, look at it. It's so much fun. Okay, they just... <laughs> Appeared out of nowhere, suddenly. What is this thing? Can I kill this thing? No, I can't. Hang on, you guys are kind of annoying me. I'm trying to look for more guards. Hmm. Okay, fine. Here, you have my attention. There you go. Oh, you can go upstairs this way. Nice. Oh, this is pretty. I've never been here before. Can we jump? No, really? Invisible wall? Todd, what is this? Invisible walling me? I'm a literal god. I can just jump down from any height, not take any damage. Okay, there we go. We just slapped some wood, apparently. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> okay, so we, wis we withstood against pretty much... Some of the strongest units in the game, at least in the early game. And everyone in White Run combined can't damage us. I mean, there's this guy. <laughs> okay, I think he's just running away from us. Yeah, he's definitely running away from us. I don't know why he ran toward us to run away from us, but you know, these things it just, this game just works sometimes, okay? There you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and load the save. I don't really want to stay in this state too much longer. Um, Wabushk. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to have to use a normal weapon when I do the, the quest for the... Um, for the companions, I think, because I know I have to train with Vilka, so I don't want to one-hit him while we're training. That might break the game a little bit. So let's put our fists away. Let's try to behave this time. Wait, wait, wait. I need to get the, uh... Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, if I remember correctly, I have to go and do the Bleak Falls Barrows uh, mission. Basically the tutorial uh, mission before I can proceed with the main quest and get um, the dragon fight that I'm looking for. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually quick travel back to Riverwood to do that Bleak Falls Barrows mission. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? Okay, that was interesting. Something just, like a butterfly just pushed me or something. That was weird. Yeah, and a lot more. Oh, they're still open at this time? They're pretty uh, modern minded. They're just being open 24 7. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. That's right, man. <sighs> All right. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a. Uh, yeah, the, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. I really don't. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Why is he so mean to his sister? Just let her go guide me. Like, what's the big deal? town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though, the mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Yeah, that's interesting. Can you please keep going? This way. Which way? Um, Todd? There, okay, there we go. I think she was stuck. <laughs> She's literally stuck in the terrain. Oh, Skyrim, never change. This way. Okay, keep going. Come on. Why do you keep stopping? Oh my god. This way. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead of you. Okay, she's a little bit buggered. I'm going to go this way. Okay, now she's coming. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. He's your brother. How can you not know that? to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Yeah. All right, well, enjoy your your um your brother husband. I mean, brother. Okay. So northwest. It's been a while since I did this quest. I don't really remember where to go. I could highlight it. Oh, it's literally right there. Okay. That's fine. Let's mark it. So I need to go that way, actually. So let's... This path will take me up there, yeah? Let's just fo follow the path, I guess. Yeah, it's going to wind back around, I think. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, come on. You gave me rock joint? Are you kidding me? It's fine. I'm immortal. I don't really have to worry about disease. I guess it's the hazard of using my fists. Yeah, I better use a weapon next time.
Oh, there's like trolls and shit here because I'm so at chai level. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm so high level for this area, so they're giving me like advanced enemies. Even though it's like a beginner tutorial uh, area. Goodbye! Oh, money. Give me the money. Who would design it to where you can only go up <clears throat> outside? That's so stupid. What's the point? Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Uh, let's see, what thing do I not need in here? Oh, a shield and 55 gold. Oh, okay. I'm so glad I came all the way up here just for that. We don't, wait, we can survive this fall, yeah? Yeah, no damage, of course. Oh, Todd Howard, you shouldn't have done this. Why did you do this? Why do you let me do this? Let me put. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Let me put something in the uh, my chicken in the oven real quick. I need to make dinner. I'll be right back.
Wait, wait, wait. All right, we are back. Um, I just had to prepare my chicken and put it in the oven. Okay, um, oh. Okay, we're here already. What's over here? I never go this way, by the way. Is there anything over here? Is this, is this just a safe way to bypass all the enemies? What is this? I've never been to this spot before. Okay, just kind of dead ends, I think. Right? Nothing else over here? Might as well explore the game a little bit since we're, you know, immortal. Don't really have to worry about anything. This infinite stamina really does help, too. Like, I just keep running. Except when it's a steep hill. Okay, let's cross this bridge. This is pretty cool. Okay, this doesn't go anywhere. Alright, fine. Let's just kill the bandits. They're trying to- f they're trying really hard to find me. Oh, there you are. Wow, you're so tough. You look just like Rayloff, by the way. Oh well. Die. Okay. That was easy. Uh, what else? Anybody else? Um... Yeah. No comment. Die already. It- I'm sorry uh, so I hate to tell you this, but I don't think that's actually possible. I can put my nice little wooden s sword away, because, you know, why not? Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was so traumatic. I mean, it's kind of funny because, you know, he's just using a wooden sword. And those scenes with the wooden sword, it's just, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's like watching a overgrown child use a, a freaking wooden sword to kill people that annoy him. It's kind of what I imagine, really. Okay, um... Okay, I don't need to... My, I have, like, a looting instinct, and I'm trying to suppress it as much as possible, because I'm trying to remind myself I'm already a god, I don't need money, really. I mean, I need a little bit of money, but not a lot of money. I already have a lot of money. Um, I don't need potions, so don't pick up any potions. Um, I'm immortal. So I don't really have to worry about anything, to be honest. What the hell was that? Oh, it's one of those things. Hunger tongue? Ugh, that's gross. Oh, it's this it's this one, okay. Uh snake snake whale. So let's do that. Oh wait, shit. Okay. Here we go. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I'm doing it again. God dang it. <sighs> what is this still? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Here we go. Perfect. Already have enough diseases as it is.
You know, I remember first com coming here and actually almost dying. Uh, to the spire boss the first time I did it. Actually, I think I did die to this one the first time I fought him. That seems silly. Hey, dude. You, over here. you did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Mm -hmm. Cut me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Okay. Um... Okay, let's try not to kill him. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Alright. So he's definitely gonna run. I never see them run though, so let's go ahead and get our bow ready. No, don't drop it. Okay, fine. We have another one. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Wait, come back. Oh shit. Where is he hiding? I never did this. I always killed him immediately. Oh, okay. Well, he just died. Mm. <laughs> I love those. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Game. Relax. I'm just going to do some aggressive... Uh... I thought my chick oh, I thought something was burning. Okay, I was just a little bit nervous. Oh, come on. You guys- I know you guys are restless, but can you not be restless? Oh. Here's my archery skill. Let's actually go unarmed. Actually, no. Let's go- Yeah, that's fine. We'll go unarmed. Doesn't matter. Okay, it smells so strongly like, like weed right now. My freaking roommates are like smoking. Like, I don't know how they get, how they have the money for so much weed. Like, oh my god. It just smells horrendous in my apartment. I really need to complain to the landlord about it. I don't want to call the cops necessarily because I don't have proof necessarily but I can smell it and it smells pretty darn strong right now like it's really annoying you know it's really inconsiderate like smoke in your car don't smoke in your freaking apartment where I can smell it I might have to talk to him about it I just don't want to get killed either I look at you, you look like a badass. It looks like you you look like you were a badass. Hang on. I came from here, yeah. Did I come from here? Hang on, I have short term memory loss. Yeah, I came from here. Okay. I don't really have short-term memory loss, but I feel like I do. Dwarven Battle Axe. Okay, I like how there's so much OP loot now all of a sudden because I'm just so high-leveled. So the game thinks I can handle it, which they're right. You know, good good assessment, Todd Howard. 
Very good assessment. Although, I don't think you understand that I have like 10 billion health. Um, just a little bit of miscalculation there, but you're close. I mean, you're pretty close. Uh, I feel like I'm in Helgen right now. This is weird. Dwarven Warhammer. Oh gosh, it's like the most powerful two-handed game. Two-handed game. Two-handed uh, weapon in the game. One of the most powerful. Wait, did I miss something over here? Oh yeah, I can. Oh look, there's another snow troll. I could just dump down, really. Yeah. I can handle it. Oh, that was easy. Did I, did I miss anything? Any enemies? Not really. Let's go back. Dee 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 dee. What's down here? Anything good down here? I mean, not really anything good, but anything interesting. That's what I really mean to say. Okay, I'm not gonna. I can't be asked. Actually, there might be a quest item in here. Hang on. I could just get uh, I could make a lock picking ring. That'd be nice to have. Iron great sword, dwarven arrows. I could take those. Sure, why not? Why does the bat look like that? Okay, that's really interesting. It's a very interesting uh, resting position. Hang on. This is the way, yeah. It's this way. Okay, I literally. Someone's literally smoking a blunt, like, outside my apartment. That's what it smells like. Easy peasy. Okay, I can't be asked. Um, that's fine. Bleak Falls Sanctum. Ooh, we're in the harder area of the dungeon now, probably. Oh, this looks all spooky. Look at this. Uh, very nice dungeon design. Um. Looks kind of like almost every other dungeon in Skyrim, but it's very nice. Pretty much the same layout. Oh, another one of these uh, circumcision uh, traps here. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Smart. Go to sleep. Don't be restless. Just go back to sleep. There you go. See, I'm just like a parent to them. I'm just putting them back to bed because they're being naughty little children, and they're not going to. They're not staying asleep like they should be. Right? I'm really a good guy. Really, I'm a good parent. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I just punched a ghost out of existence. That's fine. Um, <laughs> I love this game. This is how Skyrim was meant to be played, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, if you can't do this, then you're not 
then you're nowhere near as good of a player as you should be, obviously. Oh, wait, did I miss stuff over here? Oh no, my loot, my looting brain. I can't control it sometimes. Okay, I thought that was a door. Oh, for frick's sake. Alright, let's just get this done as quickly as possible. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Wait a minute! I just realized I didn't take the golden claw from that guy's body. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Well, good thing we have infinite stamina, and but I keep going the wrong way because I'm an idiot. Okay, we're just gonna drop down here and go this way. Let's turn off the circumcision tool. Just because it's like really bad ASMR for me, so I don't want to listen to it. Um, let's keep going. Okay, I'm like almost secondhand smoking this weed right now. Like, holy shit. What the fuck? I need to go. I should go outside and talk to them about this. This is getting ridiculous. Ugh. It smells so awful to me. I, f I don't understand how people can tolerate it. It's so disgusting. Ugh. Like, who can tolerate smoking? Like, how did that be even become a habit? Like, I know that sounds like I'm so like a child when I ask that question, but like, really though. Like, it just, it's... How do you even begin it? Like, it just tastes so awful. Like, it tastes... Like, I tried it when I was like a kid, one time. And, like... It just tastes like shit. Like, who could possibly want to keep doing that? After one time of trying it. I just don't understand. Like, is it literally just peer pressure? And you're so... It just... We're very impressionable, I guess? Like, I don't know. I guess if everyone else in the world was smoking, it would be peer pressure. But even then... I don't know. It's really interesting to me. Your chest up there? Oh, how sneaky of you, Todd Howard. Look at this. All the way up here. No one would ever think to look on top of this pile of ruins. Wow, Apprentice. So it's, you know, it's gotta be really good loot, yeah? Oh, look at this. It's really difficult. Ooh, ah. Uh, let's go here. Oh, yes. Very difficult. Look at that. Nine gold. And an empty soul gem. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate you wasting my time. Uh, where's the trapdoor, by the way? How far? How much further do we have to go? Oh, here it is. Piece of shit. Golden Claw, there it is. We don't really need his journal, so fuck him. Ugh, I can't believe I forgot about that. What? I turned that back on? I don't remember that. Did me getting the Golden Claw reset all the traps, I wonder? It didn't reset the enemies, so it shouldn't reset the golden the uh, traps. Uh, where do we go? Oh. A little bit blind, apparently. Oh, wait, we can just jump out of here, yeah? Oh, no, not here. I like how the game has, like, so many unnecessary steps. 
for uh, traveling. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. Like, what's the point? Is it just to make the gaming experience a little bit longer? Yeah, that didn't really hurt. I'm just being a crybaby for some reason. Okay, now we're back to the Sanctum. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Okay, we actually got stuck. Can we jump over here? Oh, we can. Nice. Alright, we're back to where we, uh, left off. Okay, so, uh, what do we see on the claw? Let's see, is it miscellaneous, I'm guessing? Okay, so that's bear, moth, and owl. Wow, what an old archaeology site this is. So nice, so lovely. Oh, look. Ooh, spooky bats. Foos, foos, foos. Give me foos. There we go. Drug your scourge lord. Hey dude. Ooh, you're doing foos to me? And now you're just gonna look at me. Okay, that was awkward. You're just looking at me. You know, this guy like almost killed me when I first fought him. And uh, yeah. My health bar isn't even showing up now. <laughs> Just power punched him. Oh look, it's Ancient Nord Battle Axe of Frost. That's cute. Do you have anything good on you, by the way? Oh, the Dragonstone. There we go. Um, 258. I guess we could sell it. Might as well take it with us. Mm, any gold? Oh, Murdia's Beacon. That's perfect. We can go ahead and do that as well, because uh, now we have the beacon for it. That sounds like fun. Let's get that. A new hand touches the beacon. Oh, here we go. Now I order child support. Hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it before. At least you're not blaming me for it, like a typical woman. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was a joke. That was a joke. Please don't cancel me, please. I mean, no one's really watching, so that's fine. Although this does go on YouTube, and I get like a hundred views on each video almost now, so it's actually gotta be, I gotta be a little bit careful. Uh, which to me is a lot, because I'm still a newbie. Right? I just like to have my fists out all the time. It's just kind of reassuring to have my fists out. Oh, look, there's another chest over here. Hello, hidden chest. By the way, there's like three chests in this room. Uh, there's the one in front of you when you kill the boss. 
And then there's like this one behind the waterfall. Wait, is it literally just the starting position? Right, okay, that was... Thank you, Todd, for that. Um, a gold ingot, yeah, I'll take. Ooh, that looks pretty. I just want it because it looks pretty right now. I'm literally just playing this game right now for aesthetics. Like everything else, I'm already reached my goal of being immortal and one hitting everybody. So right now it's just aesthetics really. This entire gameplay. Hey, hey dude, do you want to go back to sleep by the way? Here, let me just go ahead and lift you up. Can I lift you up? Please, let me lift you up. No, I don't want your seven gold. I want to lift you up. Okay, here we go. Lift. Ooh. No. Okay, I don't understand the physics. Okay, apparently I'm not strong enough to lift them up. Okay, I can just move them sideways. I can't lift them up, apparently. That's fine. Um, where's the third chest? There should have been a third chest. I'm just looking for chests, really, because I'm worried about... I want to get quest items. Is this the same one? I think that was the same one. Oh no, it wasn't. Yeah, there's one right there. And then there's one over here, by the way. So, if you do Bleak Falls Barrows again, just uh, don't miss those two extra chests. Okay, I really just want to fight the first dragon so that I can start fighting dragons more. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. This is a nice little uh, skull here with some flowers. It's cute. Nice little decoration. I like how the uh, joggers have some kind of um, homemaker attitude. It's really nice of them. I mean, if you think about it, though, like, how come there's candles lit in this dungeon? Like, how... Like, how good are those candles for being lit for literally probably thousands of years? Like, that's insane. I, it's gotta be the Jockers that light them. They probably like the uh, scented candles. They're really just nice little homemakers, and I just kind of murdered them all. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, that's me. <laughs> Apparently. I mean, just look at me. I'm constantly in the... Fighting position. Okay, here we go. Look at my eyes. I have no soul. I have no soul. I'm evil. I can just turn around instantly. Look at this. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> okay. Just instantly glitches uh, forward again. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Oh, we actually lost health from that? Really? That's amazing. Oh yeah, because of this mod I have hippos in here. Those are hippos, right? Okay, no. Those are rocks. Okay, well... Yeah, my, uh, my eyesight. Okay, this is why I want to go to the um, vision doctor soon. It's because I can't see shit, apparently. Um, what the hell? Is that a fish that just tried to crawl into land? Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to, uh... Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and go back to Riverwood. Return the guy's claw, get his little favor. Oh yeah, there's ant eaters in this game now because I um I uh, have that mod. It does like random new monsters and then some random zoo animals. 
Oh, it's this lady. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. There you go. Go to sleep. Hmm. You know what? I don't. And I didn't want to steal from her either. I just wanted to punch her. And because I'm just a little bit crazy, you know. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, little foxy. Hang on. Hang on. Let me get. Let me just reset my oven. Oh yeah. Okay. Where is the Riverwood trader, trader, by the way? Oh, look, it's a little pyromancer. Dark elf pyromancer. Wait, dude, you look like a badass. Look at you. Oh my gosh, I've broken Skyrim. They think I'm so powerful that they have uh, all these high badasses trying to kill me. <laughs> Fortunately, she can withstand a single punch from me. A dark elf with a orcish war axe for some reason. Potion of vigorous healing. Gold diamond necklace. 1200. Oh my gosh, what have I done to this game? Okay. Orcish armor. Orcish boots. Why is there an elf wearing orcish armor? That's really weird. That's cute. Oh, we could actually sell it for... Actually, it's probably too heavy. Let me see. Can we sell it for money? 35 weight. Okay, that's fine. Oh, kinky. Oh, okay. Let's not look at that too much. Um, Where's the river with trader here, by the way? Oh, okay, we're going toward it. Sweet. Oh, yeah, I think I see it over there. Yes, you run away. That's the best thing you can do, really. Just fought a few snow trolls and a dark elf mage at Bleak, Ball F Bleak Falls Barrows. Burrows? Um, I don't think that's normal for a normal game of Skyrim. <laughs> you know what? We should put up the... Uh, the um difficulty what difficulty is it on it's on adept now let's put it to legendary there we go there you go so now it's a little bit harder but not really oh is this the riverwood trader no What is this? Sven's house? Oh boy. Are you feeling sick? Yeah, I have actually have rock joint. I forgot. I could probably just buy a cure disease potion real quick. I mean I could pick a ring that cures me of disease. Hey dude. The sooner you find the claw, you found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna put this That's what she said. Where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. It's just the golden claw. It's not the... Oh, wow. It's actually really big, dude. Are you kidding me? That's smaller than you remembered it? Look at this thing. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. Oh, great. He's going to repeat himself. Back to the way it used to be. Uh... Here, let's just activate. It so much to us to have the claw back where... It's a fine day with you around. Oh, she likes us now. I think this time I'm gonna marry um, Lydia instead of Isolde. Because, I mean, I don't really need money. And I kinda like Lydia. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, yeah. Um, let's just fast travel to... Wait, run. I don't feel like walking. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I know. Let's just fast travel for the stream. 
I was gonna say it would be good to walk through the countryside and just see what we encounter, what uh, crazy enemies we get, but it's fine. I had to reform the Dawn Guard. Why do you always say it like that? I feel like they have the same voice actors. You look rather pale. Could be a taxi of, of a sort. I don't have formal training within these walls. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or wit bane I've cured since I opened this shop. I'd be a rich woman indeed. You ever think of returning to Cyrodiil? I never asked her this. Let's see what she says. Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! Okay. Well, good for you. I don't know why I asked you that, but there you go. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah, that's why I uh, asked about him. Okay, um... Oh my gosh, she has all these OP things I don't need. Uh, push of cure disease. I just... Six of them? Okay, I just want one of them. Thank you. 235 gold? Okay, well, that's fine. I can get all the gold I want to, really. I don't know why I'm complaining. Um... There we go. Now we're not sick anymore. No. Don't unlock the door right in front of her. Not a good idea. Okay, let's go ahead and do the main quest. I spend a lot of time at the market stall, so I can learn the merchant skills. I think I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this game. I'm going to try to beat the game uh, with this build. Um, well, I'm not going to try. I am going to beat the game with this build, but I just think it would be funny to do it. And then just only imagine how difficult it is. Uh, let's save because I don't want to do all that again. Come to Dragon's Reach to... It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books and my spells. Okay, we have to talk to the Jarl first. So let's go to the Jarl. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, I had a great view while the... No, let's not say that this time. Let's say... Let's talk about the uh, Ulfric this time. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountains. That's a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irelan, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. Oh, oh excuse me. me. I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Hmm. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. Not really. The game kind of forced me to. Service. I won't forget it. Here. Take this as a small token. Elven gilded armor added? There oh my god. Another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents. Hang on, because I'm higher level, they gave me really good armor. Let's go find That's funny. My court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. 
Let's slow walk over there. Go ahead. Oh, excuse me. I just drank water and for some reason that made me burp. Alright, slow walk behind you very awkwardly. Just gonna... There you go. Firing guard. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. What is that girl still talking? Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. I already have it. All right, where am I going? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? No, I you're not my better, dude. Dude, dude I'm a literal god. Said to be housed in Bleak Fog Barrow, a dragon stone. I already have it. Of dragon burial site. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, do you mean this old stone? Give Dragonstone to Ferengar. Ah, the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. Yeah, I'm literally God, basically. So what about my reward? What happens if I ask about that? Let's not, no, let's not do that. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Oh, yeah, he's a nerd. Okay, well, it's fine. I'm a nerd too. Oh. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If the dragon decides to attack Whiterun, we don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Okay, I don't really need your guys' help. I can just go by myself. Um, what's your name? Irleth? Yeah, can you actually go? Irleth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. How do they breathe in those helmets? Food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Oh, of course. I want you to go with Irleth and help Freeloader. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Well, I actually just did it for myself. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And oh, okay. Please, accept this gift from my personal armor. You already gave me elven gilded armor. Scaled boots of strength no, added. Okay. Need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irrelev. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Eh, debatable. I've oh. seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Run were as noble. Yeah, I'm very noble. Look at me. Mm, I don't think you do.
Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, let's give her a head start because we can run pretty fast. <laughs> I'm the commander of the guard here in White Rock. Yeah, I don't care. You're blocking your left. Okay, there we go. Keep you safe. Don't you worry. Shut up! I'm not talking to you. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. Yes, very much so. Who are these people? You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's hey dude, made nice made mustache by the way. But house guard, how can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever Let's quick save in case this quest buggers out. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes. Our families. Would you call yourself Nords if you ran from this monster? I'm not a Nord. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Think of the first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. I'm just gonna stand the flames right here. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Gosh, she's quite intimidating. Look at him. Look at his lifeless eyes. He looks so evil. Oh my god. The most evil legionary. Severus Dickus. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, go ahead. Are you guys going outside? Okay, yeah, you are. Okay, they all went outside. I'm gonna come last. I'm just gonna like let them ha play with the dragon a little bit, and then I'm just gonna take my arrow and go boop, and then just immediately kill him. It might be hilarious if it like turns out to be like the last boss dragon because I'm so powerful. That'd be that'd be funny if something like that happened, or if it was like a super like dragon, not just a basic one. Okay, well it's a good thing I have infinite running ability. Look at them, I'm overtaking all of them. Okay, let's get our bow equipped, by the way. Um... I just kind of want to shoot it out of the sky and see what happens. No signs of any dragon right now. It sure looks like we've been here. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out. Look for survivors. We need to know what we're seeing. Dee 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 dee. Oh. I just killed it. Are you kidding me? He's dead, but he's still flying.
Oh, he still has his health? What the hell? Oh, there we go. One shot. <laughs> that was easy. Whoop. Look at me, I'm the hero. Look at me. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, dragon bones, those are too heavy. Oh, that's cute. They put the guards that were eaten, their armor. Dragonborn. Oh, this kind of awkward place to talk to me, dude. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still. <laughs> uh, we're inside the dragon right now. Can I get outside first? That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That will prove. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training. The way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? Okay, let's uh, go to my magic, I think. Yeah. The dragon. Oh. Oh. stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim said. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first Boosh! time. Forever. What manner of power is that? What tales tell of the dragonborn who can kill dragons and steal their power? You must be one. What are you saying, Lila? Being awfully quiet. Come on, Lila. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn? Boosh! Some of you would be better off keeping it quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill it. Yeah, I just shot him with one arrow. Well, technically two. It killed him in the sky, and it said the mission was over because he's dead, but he was still flying. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Yeah. I'm glad you're on our side. Oh, okay. Well, this is getting awkward. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. Tonight. What are you talking about? I don't know about this dragon dragon Dragonborn fight. business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White. Yeah. White How White is it the hairiest the fight? I'm you glad you're on our here. side. Oh my god, they're also getting the synchronization. That was terrifying. We can never oh my gosh, it's not the best position to die in. Jeez. Oh, Irleth, you're kind of glitched in the train. Okay, there you go. Irleth. What might you need? Hmm? Did you just. Do you have short term memory loss like I do? Like, what are you. What are you doing? Okay, I guess they're just gonna spread out and do their own things now. Because they're just randomizing, I guess. Oh well, that was fun. Now we're gonna fight dragons. Yay. I can one hit more dragons. Woohoo! I'm just gonna speed run over there because I can. Oh, what is that? What the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying, but at least I killed it in one hit. Cursed wedding ring. Where is muff muffled and moves silently? Stamina generates 100% slower. Well, that's fine. I don't really need to regenerate stamina because... 
have infinite stamina, so... It just makes me silent, I guess. Uh, oh yeah. Oh. Hello, Rhino. I just don't give it a shit. Look at me. This is really good for my armor rating. Oh my god. This guy is like a DPS machine. Look at him. This is a monster uh, animal that was added from the uh, mod, by the way. I'm playing with a monster mod. But he's really bad at turning, so if you're not invis invincible like me, you can just keep turning. And usually he's too hard it's too difficult for him to turn around. If you just keep going with his turns, yeah, you can just kind of glitch into his belly a little bit. Of course, I'm not really trying hard right now, but... Anyway, let's uh, get rid of the bow and arrow. I need to save my arrows at, after all. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. Oh wait, that's not White Run. That's a that's a bandit camp that I already cleared out. Oh, there's a White Run. Okay. Um. Yeah, that must be terrified of me. I just shot that thing with one arrow and he's dead. I mean, I guess that's not too unre unrealistic because in The Hobbit, you know, they shot the dragon, Bard shot him with, like, the black arrow and, like, one uh, special spot and actually killed him in one penetration hit. So, it's not too unrealistic, actually. Just like a man that can punch a rhinoceros. And then the rhinoceros would just glitch out of reality for a second and then back into reality. Uh, dead. Yeah, it's perfectly normal. Ooh, do 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 do. Okay, that's the gray beards uh, wanting me to come visit them in their little secluded house. Okay. Dee 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 dee. You're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. <laughs> well, that camera kind of uh, freaks my eyes out. I was in the fire for a second. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I kill a dragon. I think I deserve a reward. I'm not going to say that because they already reward me. Uh, what should I say? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed a dragon. Turns out I might be something... Called Dragonborn. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? 
Uh oh. So it's true. The gray beards really were summoning you. Masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Oh, okay. Did you hear the thundering sound as you return to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. Oh. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards You've want? You've done a great him? service. That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. <laughs> a great service after jumping on his face. When you killed that dragon. It revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. <laughs> yeah. This is sick. Look at me, I'm the dragonborn, I'm the hero. Woo! Look at me. Up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. You climb the seven thousand steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Yeah, that's interesting. High Nobody Hrothgar cares. Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I next? wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach okay. you. Okay. Yes. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. Oh, okay. By my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Oh, okay. I assign you Lydia as a personal house. Oh! And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll Ooh la la. I'll notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Yeah. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Boventus. We still have a city to Keep defend. your hands to yourself. Oh. Yes, my <laughs> I was accidentally uh crouching. I'm sorry, dude. What is it that you need? Whose side are you on? Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Yeah, you're doing so hard. You're just sitting there, dude. Come on. That's baloney. <laughs> Lydia! Oh, there she is. Oh no, I'm stuck. Hang on. I could get a ring for uh my load, yeah? Yeah, I can make a, a jewelry for that, I think. Um, what did he give me, by the way? Oh, Axe of White Run. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. It has a nice enchantment. I might have to use that. Okay, I need to lose 10 weight. I could get rid of this Steel Armor of Health. I mean, really, it's kind of useless. 
So let's go ahead and just say uh, goodbye. Oh, okay. Nobody minds, right, when I do this? Okay. You guys have fun with that. Hey, Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way. Perfect. Now we have Lydia. I think this is a good uh, point to end at, actually. Um, if you did enjoy the shenanigans today, uh, feel free to follow. Um, on my Twitch page, I have a link for my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe there as well. Um, I do make a lot of YouTube shorts as well, so if there's any highlights you want to see... Can you stop talking? I'm trying to talk to my, uh, my, my people. Oh, wow, Lydia. Oh, you have beautiful eyes, by the way. Oh. Okay, she's disgusted by my appearance. Lydia, come on. Why aren't you into me? Look at me. I'm a perfectly normal human being with a uh a, a, de a deathless stare. I don't know what do you, what do you call that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh I mean, look at just look at him. Like the lights are on, but nobody's home. Anyway, um Okay, I'm going to go away because you guys keep talking. Anyway, uh, feel free to follow. And again, I have lots of YouTube short. Uh, Dickus says, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, he hopes you have a good one. And wishes all of you, uh, you know, so yay, we can all get that. This looks pretty cool, actually.